I saw them outside. Okay. Uh, mommy, is all you have to say. What about our neighbors? Eh, Simi? What about them? Can't you see your mommy is busy? Ah! Uh, mommy, I thought we all wanted to see these new neighbors come. So that's what can happen, Jerry. Tell me. Oh, because our new neighbors have come, I should leave what I am doing and go and entertain them with fried meat and biscuits. Abby? Mama, sure. I thought you wanted to say hi to them. <sighs> okay. See, when they move in finally, you come back and tell me, and I will go and say hello to them. But for now, your mommy is busy and have no time for hi. Mommy. Oh, see me. Kilo day. Butter. Go outside and play with your daddy since you have nothing to do. Ah. Mommy, I want your dress inside out. Ah. Oh, God. You see? And you see now? You people will not make somebody to be focused in this house. Eh? Now I am doing things upside down. Ah -ah. Ah. Mommy, won't you thank me for correcting Thank you, thank me. And... Who told you I would not have looked at the mirror before going out? Eh? Who told you? Think, 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 think. Now, see me for the last time. Go and look for something to do. Kilo day gone. Uh, uh, uh. Next time, I won't tell you anything. Eh, hey, don't tell me, don't tell me. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Uh, hey, man. Now, where am I now, eh? Now I'm confused. I change this dress. Maybe it's the more confusing myself. Ah! Yes! Bukola. Yeah, come and sit. Hmm. Hmm. See what you came. Just come and look at my latest invention. Beautiful. Yeah, come. Let me test your face. God forbid. Another, you can't test your concocted makeup on my face. Maybe you should go look for a cadaver or something to test it on. Not my face. What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't know what kind of makeup you've been trying to invent. And I won't be so generous to donate my face for a chemical test. I'm very disappointed in you. I'm only trying to mix cosmetics to get a unique perfect finish that can hide wrinkles and here you are certified by which school of cosmetology. Huh. How does your degree in mass communication guarantee you manufacturing a perfect finish? So painful that you have no drive for creativity. Sure you know people like you are talent killers. Hmm? Anela, thank you. Hmm? I don't have wrinkles on my face. Be patient to laugh. I will consult you, Madam Creativity. Oh yeah, it's okay. Just be reasonable now. Let me just test it on your face. And you're like, don't you have a face? Why is he interested in testing your nuclear weapon on my face? Why do you feel it's harmful? It is just a mixture of cosmetics. Have I not been doing makeups for you before? At least not with the forged substance that you said I can hide wrinkles. Besides, do I have wrinkles on my face? Maybe you should go and try mommy instead. No voila. No problem wa. <laughs> Just know it's one, zero. Don't bother counting on me for any of your outrageous moves in this house. You hear me? Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Give it to me. Let me apply it to your face first. My face? Eh. Why? Are you the one that invented it? Guess what? You are not needed here. Me not needed here. That's why I said she gets now. Okay. Toby is back from the market. I'm food is ready. Is that it? That's not it. I still have to be patient with your hunger. Baby, last card. Say what you want to say and stop disturbing. Uh uh. What exactly am I disturbing? I stop calling baby. I'm necessary thing now. Okay, mm. old woman. What is it? You will fail the guess. I knew you came around. Eh. Yeah. Why didn't you say that all this while now? They've gone. Uh, why did you come to call us since now? Because I don't want to disturb anything. Come on, be serious. How do they look like? How many of them? 
just their dad, the the mom. I think she's their daughter. Who? One oh, very beautiful girl. Shut up, Joe. What do you know about beauty? She's very beautiful. She's very fine. I think she's their daughter. And Yola, do you have any problem with beautiful people? No. Not the way baby Laska is saying it. Like she's more beautiful than every one of us here. And Yola, she's fine than all of us. So. What do you mean? You see the insults now. What do you know, baby Laska? Eh? A baby like you that has no aesthetic eyes. Look, okay, what's been of aesthetic? Are you asking me? Ask Madame Aesthetic. I beg, I beg, just leave this one with her baby talk. But wait, you was the baby boy a mother. When did they say they are finally moving in? Me, I don't know, but the man was talking with that when I left. Maybe I do know. is very busy inside as usual. She could even return my greeting. Well, go get her for me, okay? Daddy, you should know your wife's attitude anytime she's busy. Why do you keep referring to your mother as my wife? But she's your wife now, is she not? Do you have a problem calling your mother, mom? Ah, no, no, dad. She's not really teasing you. How about? Okay, I'll call my mom on my way to my room. That's better. <laughs> Hey, Daddy, hmm? he said our new neighbors came around. Is it true? Ah, yes, they came in for a final inspection. But Simi said they came with their daughter. Yes, they did. Daddy, is she beautiful? Beautiful? Well, I will say she's a good-looking young girl. Are you sure? Aniola, why are you so concerned about the girl? Ah, nothing, no. I only wanted to know if they have a son soon. So. Well, I don't know anything about the Uzo family tree. Hmm? But we can go see them when they move in finally this weekend. They're moving in this weekend? That's great! Now, go get your mother for me, okay? Okay, Dad. I don't have money for makeups if that is why you are here. Uh uh, no, mommy. I wanted to tell you that. Well, do you know much about the Uzos? The Uzos do not do business with me, so I don't have to know anything about them. Sorry. Thought you knew about your daughter and if they had any son too. Do they? 7,000 cartoons, 7,500. My nose loading. Uh uh, mommy, I said something now. And you're like, what you have just said has not added any value to what I'm doing. Uh -uh. Are you sure you don't want to buy makeups? Tell me now so that you can give me my space. I just want to find out something from you. You know, you're the only one I trust. Okay, mom. Well. Uh -huh. The Uzos, do they have a beautiful daughter and a son too? If you must know, my dear daughter, the Uzos have. A very beautiful daughter and a handsome son. Uh, two, I guess. Two. Oh, yes. Now, can I have my space? Yes. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> uh, do you know the names of your sons? Okay. Anyway, Daddy said I should call you. He is outside waiting. <laughs> Dancing. Where are you off to now? Well, I have a discussion class, you know, so I'm filled up my costumes. <laughs> ah, wow. You and this, you know, so safe. Anyway, 
Let's have our own discussion class before you leave. What are we discussing? Hope it's not about makeup and aesthetic issues. Mommy just gave me a clear picture of the users, our new neighbors. Hey, hey. <laughs> what did she say? That the daughter is ugly. They have two handsome sons as well. What's so special about them? Are they superstars? Stop being sarcastic, Poké. Don't you know one could be my Mr. Right among them? And if it turns out to be a Mr. Wrong, Ungo? Pessimist. That's what you are. Thank you, Madam Optimist. But seriously, I'm so happy to meet them and make a choice. I can't even wait for them to move on this weekend. Since you can't wait, why don't you just go and look for them? Two boys to choose from. Here comes the opportunity I've been waiting for. <laughs> Like you promised. I would have bought it, but I know you must stop what I asked you to. What, Brad Toby? Baby girl again. You calling me Brother Toby makes me feel like some Christian brother, and I'm not. Okay, I know you are my elder brother, not my church brother. You said that I should be calling you. Bros Toby. But what is really different ah. between bros and brother? Ah, a little different. The T H E L. Now we remove the T H E L and not the S. That way you keep getting as much Bulani than you got as you like. Okay, oh, Bros Toby. Even in the lab book is done from adding sisters to their names. They say it makes them look like old women. You now you said I should be calling him Bruce. Okay, Bruce, when do I get my whole idea? See me? What's that behind you? What? What? Voila! <laughs> okay, let me get my breath back with this drink and I'll tell you the latest gist. The latest gist? What's the latest gist? That, that, that food. Okay, let's see it. Oh, so you're not serious. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, was, so. <laughs> the man was crazy. <laughs> ah, okay. It's getting late. I have to go. Uh uh. Why don't you come in for dinner? Ah, oh, thanks. It's really getting late. I have to rush back to the hotel. Unlike you who comes from home. Yours is better. You can come and go at any time. <laughs> yeah, I know. But Zubi Hostel is not exactly safe for late night movements. Unless you probably want me to sleep over. Why not? Unless you don't mind sleeping in the kitchen or under the bed. Ah, Abuki, me? In the kitchen or under the bed? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I was only joking. The balcony will be better. <laughs> Please go, Joe. I invited you for dinner. Yeah, yeah, standing it overnight. But it's okay. I didn't have intentions. I never said you had any intentions. <laughs> Please, what do we have for us tomorrow? I guess it's, um... Dr. Emeka. Hmm. Dr. Emeka. AKA Dr. Assignment. Alright. I guess we'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. See ya. So they're moving in at last. How do you know this? Oh, what? They have a beautiful daughter. They're moving in and all. I saw her now, and they told her that she's very beautiful. Will you marry her? Ah, see me, I didn't tell them to get married. But you get married someday, won't you? Yes, but that's in the long future. We used to be cooking if you get married. See me, why not help me do the dishes? You always ask me to do the dishes. Why don't you teach me how to cook too? I will. And, and there's this new food on the internet that likes how to cook. You'll like it. We'll start with that. Internet food. Are we going to eat it or just for entire people to... Delicious, see me. Oh, sorry. is very tasty. Ah, uh, thanks, mom. No <laughs> is there any soup that Toby cooks that you don't appreciate? Hope you're not trying to hit at me tonight, eh? You do it all the time. Uh-uh. Yes, to keep Toby in the kitchen 
and you and your girls out of the kitchen. Excuse me. But dad, I'm always in kitchen, but to be. See me, table manners. Let's talk about it. But I just did. Daddy and mommy have been talking since. You didn't mind them of table manners. Bookie, say what you want to say. And stop acting like you're deaf and dumb. And your lap, please, table manners. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how I'd have done this without you. I'm glad you have finally come. Thank you. But don't you have a brother or sister that could have helped with the chores? Well, I don't have a sister, but I have a brother that can't help with the chores. Anyway, you're my sister now, so let me just uh, get my children done with them, okay? The brother that can't help with chores. But by the be cooks and does chores. Eniola, you will have applied this makeup and also look like a masquerade. Hmm. Don't forget, I'm a professional makeup artist. Yes, with a degree in mask hmm. It's a talent. You don't need a degree to do makeups. Hmm. Yeah. One will see you and think you are going for a party. Funny enough, you just just not say hi to our new neighbors. Hmm. Point of correction. I'm going there to say hi to any of the two sons of the Uzo family. Hmm. You never can tell. One might just fall in love with your sister. I'm proposing deadly. <laughs> I wish you luck. I'm pretty to fight over you. Thank you. Now they will know who the true beauty is in this whole arena. <laughs> How do I look? Um, see me. is calling you. But daddy just drove out not quite long now. Oh, let's see daddy. I meant mommy. She left with daddy. Simi, will you go inside and stop making a fool of yourself? <laughs> it's alright, Simi. Go when you're free, you come, okay? <laughs> Please don't mind my younger <laughs> sister. That's how she behaves. It's good to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. You heard so much about me. Oh, from who? Um, never mind. I'm Eniola. What are you called? I'm Amanda. Mm. Amanda. That sounds old school. Uh, but it's okay for your grade. I was going to the gym for my morning workout, so I decided to say hi to you guys. So where are your brothers? My brothers? I don't have brothers. So you have just a brother? Well, I might say so. You might say so. Why? Is it not inside? Just wanted to say hi to him, that's all. Though. That's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my brother there. Say hi to him. You call that a brother? Yes. Well, I'm an only child, and that's the only brother I have. Hey! Mommy, we are the two sons. Why did you impress this morning again? I said dress to impress someone. Um, you did over the weekend to impress your son. son. Would turn out to be a daddy. <laughs> Hope you're not making jest of me. Oh, why would I? But you look really hot. Oh, have you decided to go job hunting? Because with this, you will surely get one. Well, if you must know, Kiki and Buma just called me to meet them up at an audition ground. <sighs> Kiki and Buma, your sleeping partners won't wake up to the realities of life. Wait, okay. I thought you said you have a lecture this morning. Mm -hmm. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. What kind of audition are they inviting you for? Hmm. Okay, your sister is about to blow. It's a modeling contract and it's the bomb. The offer that comes with it if selected is mouthwatering. Mm -hmm. Does it involve getting your boyfriend too? I don't told you I need a boyfriend. 
Okay, if you have nothing good to say, just dress up and go to your lecture. You're still a student now. What do you know about career building? As long as it involves excessive makeups, alongside some lazy partners like Kiki and Buma. Will you just shut up and face your own business? By the time I'm selected, then will you run, crawling with your two legs to come identify with me? Hmm. I have better things to identify with. What's your name, what name? Crap. Okay, I don't blame you at all. Let me win this modeling contract. The whole shame will be on you. Oh, before you get a boyfriend first, is there no way I can talk some sense into you to do something to better your love in here? Eliola, what is it? I'm going out, Mom. And how am I blocking your way? No, you're not blocking my way at all. I just want to... Hey, please. Don't ask me if it has to do with money. I beg you. Please. Look, I have not sold anything and I have not even balanced my account for yesterday. I beg you. I mean, it's not much. It's just... Even if it is just 100 naira, don't ask me. I've not sold anything, Eliola. Can't you see? Mommy, don't worry. God will make you sell and balance your account. Amen. And God will provide for you too. Ah, but how will God provide for me now when you don't want to give me? Oh, Eliola. Hey, what do you want me to do now? I can't give you money when I've not made any sales today. Eh? Besides, what do you want to use the money for? Mommy. God has landed me with an opportunity that I can't afford to miss. Is that what you want to use the money for? Mm. I want to purchase a modeling form. You see? <laughs> a modeling form, Eniola. Tell me, if you purchase this modeling form, are you going to resell it and make profit or what? Mommy, if I purchase that modeling form, I'll be auditioned. And if selected, my life will change. Change from what to what, Ojari? From makeup to modeling. Eniola, sometimes I think you are confused. Alone. Because by now I believe you should have known what you want for yourself. But I know what I want now. No, 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 no. You don't, my dear. You don't know. Because if you do, by now you'll have been selling makeups and making money instead of walking about the whole town and hoping for nothing. Mommy, me a graduate. I should buy and sell makeups. When I have a career to pursue. Eniola, a career that involves you begging money from me is no career, my dear. Ben, go and think about it. How much is the money we are talking about, John? It's just 6,000. Eh? 6,000? Oh, hey, 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 That's about four to five cartons of noodles, now, Eniola. Hey, Eniola. Hey. You see, Eniola, using the factory price, that is exactly the amount. You see, Eniola, could I buy it now? See how you are reducing my capital. Ah. Okuro John, you know how to tickle me very well so that you can collect me. Anyway, I will give you half of the money. Go and meet your daddy for the remaining half. Oh, that's my mother. Hey, not so fast. Not so fast. Not until after I've balanced my account. Okay? So, bye-bye. All right, so... Morning, Dad. Morning. Dad, I'm going out. Well, you make sure you don't stay out too long. Okay, Dad. Um, Mommy said she give me 3000 3000 for what? I want to buy something for 6000 And she said she give me half the money. And what is that thing going to do for you? Projecting my career. And in life, you don't come out clean. 
Nothing for you. Well, I want to buy a modeling form. I would have been more interested in a master's degree form since you don't have a job. I'm not against your career, but I would think that uh, your pursuit of academic excellence should be almost in your mind. But that idea, I don't need a master's degree to become a model now. I got my own master's at age 27. You are just 25. Huh? You see, good education is good for all your endeavors in life. Okay, Dad, just give me money to buy this phone. And when I return, I'll think about the master's degree. Think about getting a job as well. Now go inside and change this dress, and then come back here. There's nothing wrong with my dressing now. I'm an aspiring model and I need to look hot. Look hot for who to eat? I'm trying to go inside and look old. Otherwise, there's nothing for you. So, some of these lectures are not even worth teaching in primary schools. Okay, calm down. I just follow the trend. Also, I can't believe you're saying this. Follow the wrong trend? Buki, this is a higher institution. I never said it was a low institution. So because the higher institution lecturer can just walk into the classroom and give course like that lecture in the whole semester. But it does give us assignments to fill up the gap. Assignments that I know were contributing to the continuous assessment of the students. Is that how you fill the gap? And it tells you whether he lectures or not, he will be paid and you will be assessed. Oh, Buki, you don't have a problem with this course. Fine, I'm not having problems with the course, but I'm having problems with the lecture. For instance, I say that whoever has no bought his handouts will lose 10 marks to the height of it. Don't worry, I'll buy it for you. Fine, if you buy for me, what about students like Jagedai who can barely afford two square meals a day? Will you buy for him too? Buki, if you really want to be a student activist, then it's time you join the SCG or National Association of Nigerian Students. Sales or buying of handouts is optional. I won't stand and allow one lazy lecturer to coerce students into buying an outdated handout. The man was so lazy, he could not even update his handout. There's nothing anyone can do about it other than work hard, pass and move on. No, so I'm not like you who doesn't see what can be done. We can't keep complaining and dying in silence when things are going wrong. Okay, let's just leave it to God. No, so even God will be angry with you for leaving something you can handle alone to him. Okay, okay. What do you want to do about it? You don't know what I want to do. Okay. See, the match is at a crucial point. Yeah, they have a crucial problem here too. Oh, okay, what is it, Angel? Dad, we chose quadratic equation and I don't understand it and we're giving an assignment on it. Quadratic equations? Yes, Dad. Uh, is Elena in the house? Yes, yeah, she is. I'll take it to her now. Yeah, they are already drawn that she said she was not a science student. Where were you when this thing was being taught in class? I was in class. And you didn't understand, despite the explanations and examples that were given? Dad, when did teacher ask class, do you understand? I wanted to say no, but everyone was saying yes, so I... No, no, no. Next time, you ask the teacher and he will explain to you. Okay? Don't follow the class. Hmm? Now, is Buki back from my lectures? Yes, she is. Uh, take me to Buki. And Dad, I thought you could solve it, though. Yeah. Mom, can you... You are with your daddy now. Uh, don't distract me. And I thought since you are not holding a calculator that you will be able to help me. See? Hey, daddy, I'm watching the match now. Buki, you know, we are 37 that came for the audition. Only seven of us were selected. You were selected just today after buying the phone. I'll show you that those people are for you. Eh, the overall, only those that were selected were allowed to buy the forms. That shows you how serious they are. Hmm. It's so unfortunate that Kiki and Buma were not selected. Good for them. They should go look for something worthwhile to do with their ugly faces. Eh? Don't talk about my friends like that. It's good that they me. But thank God it wasn't me. Hey! Why is this modeling contract shocking you like this? <laughs> you don't know how it is, Buki. You don't know how it feels like to have your face all over the TV, billboard. Ew! I feel so good. Like I'm just so blessed to be stressed. Mm. I was like, it's okay. What are the benefits, Seth? Oh my god. The benefits are mouth watering. Too good. Mouth watering is not a figure. Neither is it a car. 
or a house. What do you stand to gain from this modeling contract? Too numerous to mention. To start with, I'll be going for my photo shoot at Whitestone Studios tomorrow. Inela, is a photo shoot one of the benefits? Buki, you will not understand. I will be so paid that I'll be able to buy that Brazilian hair I've been dreaming of. Brazilian hair? Not a car. Enela, is that the mouth watering you've been singing about? Today eventually comes. Tell her that I have gone back to my shop. Eh? She said she is within the neighborhood and that she wanted to see me. But why don't you just exercise a little more patience? No, not when my shop is in the hand of that criminally looking sales girl out you. See, I have been waiting for the past 30 minutes now. And I'm sure by now some goods will have developed wings and be flying out of the shop. But why don't you start with your sales girl if you don't trust her enough? I have not caught her red and edge. Well, let me go. Maybe I will catch her today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, what should I prepare for dinner? Okay, you can ask your daddy what he wants. But as for me, anything goes. And same for your sisters, since they cannot even boil an ordinary egg. <laughs> It's whatever they see, they will eat. Alright, <laughs> Mom. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. something nice, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, see, there are two things I'm eyeing from this contract. Is there buy the Brazilian hair or the Jessica Simpson shoes? Oh my god, I'm so thankful! Thankful. <laughs> For Jessica Simpson shoes or Brazilian hair? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for what? Oh, waiting for me to buy my Jessica Simpson shoes so that I can clean them, Abby. Don't even dream of it. Buki, Daddy said I should tell us to help me in my quadratic equation assignment. You are dreaming. I should solve it. Was I the one that gave you quadratic equation to solve? But Daddy said I should solve it now. Go and tell Daddy that I am not a quadratic equation teacher. Please. Don't please me. When I asked you to help me wash my clothes, what did you say? Not a dry cleaner. Arrogant baby like you. I'm not a baby. Okay, I'll wash it on Saturday. Bring it on Saturday too. And make sure you add some of mine too. I'm sorry, I don't wash clothes for people who are not science students. I was not comfortable how you left in annoyance yesterday. So I decided to come see you so that we could level up. Level up in what sense? Well, as regards the doctor, you make her the handout issue. Have you decided to support me? First, you have to tell me your plans. I have written a strong worded petition against Dr. Emeka and I will submit it tomorrow. A strong worded petition? Against the lecturer? I will submit a copy to the head of the department, to the dean of student affairs, to the senate, and all campus. Mm. Okay, you're going too far. You won't do that. No, so it means you can't level up with me. I'm so disappointed in you. You, as a man, should be taking up this battle while I support you. But yet you are suffering and smiling. Okay, it's not like that. You just. I have spoken to all of our classmates, and most are in support of it. You see, you just said most, not all. That is to tell you that the battle is of the Lord. So, will you stop with all your hypocritical religious vibes? Huh? Why do you tell me to live a fight I can fight for myself for the Lord? Buki, all I'm saying is we have to be tactical about it. It's either you're in or out. How exactly do you expect my support other than give you good advice? I don't think the advice is kind of support. Before I submit the petition tomorrow to all the various offices, all agri students who are in support of my mission will sign the petition with their names and matriculation numbers, and that includes you. 
Bookie. My name and matriculation number. That's how to support a moral cause. Toby, Toby. What's cooking? I need the gas is cooking. Hmm. Yum. Is that what we're having for dinner? Not just yum, but with vegetable sauce and so. Mm. I'm not very interested. I don't have appetite for food now. And why is that? So you've not heard? Heard what? This kitchen is really taking much of your time. Well, your sister here has just hit a big modeling contract. Wow! You're kidding me! No. <laughs> this is good news. Mm -hmm. So, like how much is involved? It's mouth watering. <laughs> oh, mouth watering. Yeah. So, like how much exactly is mouth watering? Charlie. Charlie. Mm. Dad, mom, um, sorry to interrupt your movie. And Ella, what is it? I just want to thank you both for your financial support towards my modeling career. And I also want to inform you that I've just got a modeling contract. Hey. Oh, oh, modeling contract? Yes, mom. That's my girl. <laughs> so, how much is it worth, my dear? Mm -hmm. What a Brazilian hair and a pair of Jessica Simpson shoes. What, what, what are the two of you talking about? Dad, please don't mind these charlatans. Enola, what is the worth of this contract? Remember, I invested into your venture. Mom, it's not really the money that matters. It's the exposure and connection I'll get. We can tell you so, Daddy. What are you talking about? You just told us you have won a monthly contract. Abby? You must have been mobilized. No. You're getting it wrong, Mom. Uh, then make it right then. Because I don't know how you can tell me that you have made a movie. Please, the two of you. Uh, can we watch this movie in peace? And we are talking about money that. Please consider. Ah, thank you. I warned you! I warned you! Warn me about what? What are you talking about? I went to the departmental office to check whether my missing scores application. Then what happened? The secretary asked after you and I said you were not in school and she gave me this to give it to you. You already opened it. Why don't you just tell me what's inside? Well, I read it out of curiosity when she said it's from the student disciplinary committee to you. Yeah. Student disciplinary committee? Why don't you just save me the pain of reading and tell me what's all about? Then the message won't sink. Read it. Me, inciting students to stage a demonstration against a lecturer. Read on. That is paragraph four. Go on to paragraph two. Jesus, no so. Me, a suspected female court leader, as gentle as I am. Go on to paragraph three. Oh my God, this is not me. It's a mistake somewhere. I was always behind this. The same student that you are trying to petition Dr. Emika against have stabbed you in the back and Dr. Emika is pulling all strings to nip your plans in the board. <laughs> With a strong barbed wire for that matter. God, but now you submitted the petition. This morning, those who promised to sign back out. Ah, so this was their reason. Now you have to appear before the student disciplinary committee and defend yourself. So, do you think I'm going to find justice? Yes. If a cockroach will get justice in a tribunal headed by chickens. And they said they were found wanting, I mean, face possibly expulsion or suspension. So, what am I going to do now? Well, I suggest you leave it to the Lord. What? Is this also a battle for the Lord? Where is Inela? 
I guess you two are here too. Yes, we are. We came to accompany her to a photo shoot. Uh, I heard you two filled the auditions. Uh, not be so, not be so. We didn't just meet certain criteria. And now that you have filled or did not meet certain criteria, why don't you girls look for something more useful that you can, you know? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, please. Don't start, okay? Okay, please. Can you go upstairs and tell Emiela to be fast with her dressing? Because time is not on our side. <laughs> time is not on your side. <laughs> do you girls have something more useful to do than making up and running after Moline country to worth a pair of shoes? Like... Thank you so much for your youthful speech. Oh, please. Can you help call Emiola? We are waiting. Well, I have something serious to discuss with my sister. He girls have to wait. It will tell me to nothing else but it's supermodel with the biggest makeup outfits. Hmm. Why are you back from school this early? Tati said you have like four classes today. And you're in serious trouble. What happened? It's the lecturer I told you about and the handout issue. The first allegations on me are now supposed to appear before the students' disciplinary committee. But I warned you. I discouraged you not to. That is a retired lecturer. He must have sold handouts one time or the other. I told you. Daddy told me he never sold handouts until he retired. Yeah. Okay, go and meet him to help you carry the curse. At least you guys can start an anti handout crusade together. In your life, Daddy must never know about this, please. I hope that I was going to tell him. So, what am I going to do now? See, Buki, I can't think of anything now till I return from my photo shoot. In your life, this is my academic life I'm talking about here. And this is my modern dream that is at stake here. If you cannot wait till I return, that's a cup of beans. Ah, Emila, she is because of Kiki and Bumabi. Oh my god, I haven't forgot they are waiting for me. Hey. If you come out of this one on hot, you'll know no we cheer. Photoshoot, here I come. Hee <laughs> hee! Is good. Oh, the photographer is good. Mm -hmm. Things you guys notice is handsome looks. Handsome, okay. Mm -hmm. And Yola, now photo shoot you can't do. <sighs> Me, I was actually carried away by his looks. The guy is handsome. Wow. Come on, and Yola. You have to be professional. This is your modern contract photo shoot we're talking about. You shouldn't be falling for one common photographer. Oh. Kiki, if you must know. Richard is a world-class photographer. Eniola, you don't know his name, Sharp Sharp, as in just now, just now. Girl, you fast, though. I may also have his number as well. <gasps> and he's coming to my house to give me some sweet shirt. Oh, Eniola! <laughs> Kiki, what is it? This is also part of the contract now. Upcoming model. False 
quickly in love with a photographer during photo shoot. Mm. That's a very nice headline. Hmm. <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> I love side I do. I beg, let's go. You needed to have seen this photographer. Too sweet. Kai. Nina, I don't understand. The photographer or the pictures you took him. Which one was sweet? Both are sweet. The guy's name is Richard. He's handsome, caring, and intelligent. He'll be loving too. How long have you known this Richard? I just met him at the studio today. Wonderful. A guy you just met is caring and all that. I'm telling you. You can't tell me. He'll be here to take me some sweet shirts. I'll introduce you to him. What do you actually think of him? Well, I won't mind dating him. That's if he asks me out. And if he doesn't? Then I'll ask him out. And you'll laugh. Bukola, let me think. Ah, so all the while you were out there, you never thought about to help me out of this predicament. I'm sorry, this Richard, the photographer, took all my attention. Ha! Huh, I can't believe this. How about losing my studentship oh. in, in... Okay, what do you want me to do? You graduated from the same school. Call somebody! But the only person on my mind right now is Richard, the photographer. Hey, Inula, you, know, you can't be this wicked. Why are you talking about a photographer? I'm asking you to call somebody and... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's tell daddy. Daddy was once a lecturer. Let's tell him. He could make one or two calls. A retired lecturer from an Eastern school. I thought I wonder about Daddy knowing about this. And I am advising you that we do. Because as I am right now, the only thing I'm thinking of is how to fall in love with Richard. Fine. Go ahead and fall in love. If you need anyone to help me, stay out and ask me to tell that about it. Okay, Buku. Hold on. I'm sorry. It's just that Richard is very handsome. And I have to think of him first before I think of your matter. Why don't we go in and talk? No, so please, let's talk here. My dad is inside. I don't want him to drop in on this issue. But you said you've told Enela about this. Enela won't tell my dad since I told her not to. I know what she can do. So how did you go? Any hope so far? Well, it wasn't easy. I saw my guys at the SUG and they referred me to the Dean of Students Affairs. You guys can see him now. We already did. What did he say? He said the Dean of Students Affairs is in charge of such cases and that there is nothing that can be done. You have to appear before the panel. Huh. God, what kind of problem is this? <sighs> it's really cumbersome. Well, I was thinking you should let your dad know about it. Before it gets out of hand. Oh, so you don't understand. My dad will kill me. What about your mom? Huh? That's a no go area. She'll chastise me and still refer me to my dad. Oh, so seriously, is there no way out? It's three days gone and the panel date is getting closer. <sighs> Buki, I've pulled the few strings I can pull. The only thing left now is to put it in prayer. No, it's not again. My clothes. I'm only selecting dirty ones. Why? I have a difficult assignment on biology, and I know you asked me to wash your clothes before you help me to do it. Here it is. Hope you will have a deal. Please just go and do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I'll look at you later. Please solve it now. We'll have some to tomorrow.
gave you this letter? Um, a postman gave it to me. No, I saw it. Where? I was washing Buki's clothes and I saw it in her pocket. Dad, is she going to be expelled? Mukola? Yes, Daddy. What's your GP? My GP. You had me. Um, um, it's 3.98. What did I say about it the other time? You said it fell below your expectation that she worked harder to make a 4.5 for graduation. And after graduation? But Daddy, why... why Answer the question. What did I say will happen after you graduate? Send me to Scotland for my master's. So why are you trying to destroy the plan? Daddy, how? Things were explained better. But you kill me, I'm feeling. So you knew about that and you went ahead to show that the letter? I was afraid that she might be expelled from school. I was just. Well, it's okay, it's okay. See, next time, try and show me such things first. You are the market, and you just should turn that after I already made the mistake. Do you think she would still help me in my assignment? If it was you, would you have? The you know, most is assignment. Will you help me to do it now? Can you see I'm cooking? What about when you finish cooking? No, I'll, I'll, I'll be dishing. I will finish dishing. See, see me. I know nothing about osmosis. I'll advise you, Pali with Buki. What do you think Dad will do to her? I'm not sure, but whatever Dad does to her, good or bad, will surely affect your osmosis assignment. Mm. So I'll advise for you. Just wait. Convince your dad. Kiki, did you just say just? She must. How will I do it? I want you to realize that we have spent money on this thing. 10,000 naira is what we've invested so far on this. How? The man who delivered the letter was paid. Papers were paid for, and here we are taking drinks. Okay, then I'll pay for the drinks. Pay for drinks? So, what will happen to the money we've invested so far? And but that's Look, Eniola. You just have to convince your dad that the agency insisted on collecting the 30,000 naira for, for acceptance fee. Or else... Convince your papa. See, persuade your mom, see, because babes, this money must drop. Okay, I'll try. Look, I'm not telling you to try. You must do it. And you I like, know you can. You can do it. And yes, yes, you can do it. You can do it. It went well, Dad. Oh, that's good to know. So where's the acceptance letter? Daddy, this agency people, eh? They are so meticulous about everything. Imagine, they said they have to take the acceptance letter to the American Embassy for their endorsement. So, when are you getting it? Um, within 48 hours. They didn't give you any acknowledgement for paying 30,000 naira? No, no, they don't need to give me receipts for that now. Uh, they collected all my information and opened a database for me in their system. Okay. So once you receive the letter, what next? Ah, Daddy, these people, they're so meticulous. Imagine, they said before I collect the letter, I, I, I have to pay another 25,000. 25 what? For what? Uh, isn't the lottery free anymore? It's free now, Dad. It's just that these are processing charges before I'm being given the green card. Oh, no. I don't understand this anymore. In fact, I, I think I'll call my friend Tafik, who works in the Iraqi High Commission. Iraqi High Commission? Daddy, this is America we are talking about here now. What can someone from Iraqi High Commission do about it? Daddy, please, let's not start another war here. Oh. What? Mm, 
Well, I'm not trying to interfere in your lottery affair, but Daddy complained after giving you 30,000 Naira. He demanded for another 25, so... So he appointed you as the new EFCC chairman to prove me, right? Wrong. But I know that after winning the lottery, you're not supposed to pay for anything. Uh, yes, madam, I don't know. After winning the lottery, I'll just come into the room, pick up my handbag, straight to the airport, enter a plane to America. Abby? At least I'm aware that the only thing you're supposed to pay for is a flight ticket. So I'm... Can you just shut up and face your books? Do I question you when you collect money from daddy for non-existing handouts? This is not a query. It's... That is what? Bukola, face your books and stop being envious of my journey to America. I've heard. I've heard. Well, Amanda asked for you. She wants to see you. She's outside waiting. What does she want to see me for? Oh, if I'd known you would ask me, I would have asked her. So ask her when you see her. I'm really happy you won the green card lodging. How sure are you? How sure am I? Of course I'm sure. Is it from the bottom of your heart? Why are you talking like this? Because I don't feel safe any longer. Especially when people come around me saying things like, I'm happy, congratulations, as regards my winning the green card lottery. Why would anyone feel that way? Mm. Mm, let's just forget about that. You said you wanted to see me for something. Yes, I was thinking if it's possible for you to introduce me to the agency that processed your lottery application. So that what can happen? Nothing. I just want to apply to them next day. Well, if you're not in a hurry, I think I can put you on my list. Uh, Simi told me about that, but I don't think I'll be patient enough for you to invite me to the States. I'd rather go through them next year. But wait, I think you can get the green card lottery this year. Win the lottery this year. How? Is that all? Yes, that's all. As soon as you're done with the ingredients, just allow it to boil for like 10 15 minutes. And your food is ready. Okay, but you allow me to cook it the next time you're cooking. Uh, well, not without my supervision. Okay. I'm suspecting that Enola wants to move someone's name from that list. Why is that? Like, I think I'm not interested. Why do you suspicion? Amanda told me that Enola wants to help her to travel to America as she's leaving. Oh, really? So whose name do you think she wants to replace Amanda's with? Yes, ma'am. I hope you know I am doing this not because of you, but because of America. Ah, I thought it was because of me. Ah. It's okay, mom. Look at you. Oh, so you think if not for the American green card, I will be giving you this money just like that? No, ma'am. Oh, it's good you know. I'm glad you know. So how much did your father say I should give you? 25,000. Eh? 25,000? What is the money for again? For America now? Nah? Oh, sorry. For the endorsement of my acceptance letter at the embassy. Hey! Uh, 25, don't know. Anyway, uh, I hope your daddy will know that I'm borrowing him this money and I'm collecting it back. Or else I won't be able to balance my account at the end of the week. Ah! 20, 25, don't know. Ah! Well, let me just take, take you now to start with. Wait, wait, so that we know if I'm not running into I'm not damning base in Jari. Ah, you think it's easy? Then we move low. What is wrong with you? Daddy, hmm? I think your mommy are not handling this in the last lottery thing the right way. How else could we have handled it? You gave her ten thousand naira just yesterday. And I've been checking mommy to give another 25,000 naira. Yes, she needs it to obtain everything she requires to Dad, continue sorry with. To cut it short. I strongly suspect Enela is up to something. What do you mean? Are you saying that she didn't win the lottery after all? N no, no, no. Far from it. I know she won the lottery, but I just think she's spending more money than is required to see it through. Really? So, what are you suggesting? Daddy, I think we should go behind her and find out from the agency and even the embassy 
What the right crime is, sir? You know you are making sense. Okay, so I'm going to the agency. When I return, I'll give you further instructions. Why don't I follow you, at least to meet the guy in charge? No, 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 Amanda. Do you want to get a visa to America? Why not? They follow my instructions. American things are not done anyhow. I'm just curious and wondering, how is it possible I get the green card this time, knowing the dress for this year is gold? Have you heard of the word connection? Connection? Yes. With connection, devil can see God. So be optimistic. That's true. Okay, I'm hoping to hear from you when you return. But just know one thing, oh. What's that? You spend money. <sighs> That's no problem. Let's just be sure of the process. Okay. Talk to you later. Then. Get your money set. Good day, Kiki and Mama. Hi, how are you doing? Um, Buki, sorry to have disturbed whatever you were doing. Hope you're fine. I'm not sure that's what you two came to find out. Um, no, not exactly. We actually came to see you. We know we've not been best of friends. And not best of enemies too. So, why don't we save ourselves some time and get to the point? Okay. We are here because of Eniola. She's been crying and complaining since. Eniola? Crying and complaining? Over what? Over losing her chances of traveling to the States. Uh, how is that supposed to make her cry and complain? You guys are getting me confused. She asked us to talk to you, to help talk to your dad. You guys are just complicating issues for me. I don't get it. Talk to my dad about what? Concerning the green card lottery. Um, she said that your dad listens to you very well and that we should beg you to talk to your dad over pronouncing her traveling. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that? And Ella is crying and complaining. My dad has refused to finance her travel plans. Is that it? Is exactly. That it? And as a committee of friends, we don't want her to lose this lottery. You know it's valid for just one year. Mm. And if she doesn't make use of it... By my rough calculation, my dad and mom have given Enela over 50,000 euros to finance her travel plans already. 50 what? Wait, Buki. Are you sure of what you just said? Am I sure? <laughs> I should be asking you to if you should have in the last been crying and complaining over money. Do not like this at all. I've been waiting for over an hour. Well, sorry. I went to see my dentist. I'm having toothache. Uh, same here. What do you mean same here, Buma? How can the two of you be having toothache? Okay, we are here now. So what is new? Mm, well, not yet. Meaning? Meaning I suddenly realized that my dad is tight-fisted with cash and my mom's hands are glued too. Meaning? Meaning they refused to bulge. I have pressed and pressed. They just refused to give me any money. My dad said if it's for my flight ticket, then he can give me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they are willing to pay for your flight ticket, right? Um, uh, where exactly would you tell them you're flying to? Um, that's a big question. Eh, hey, but I've been wanting to ask you to. Assuming they give me money for all these stories, how do I end the game? Mm -hmm. You simply tell them you failed the final interview at the U.S. Embassy in Abuja. How? That your luxury was rejected on the grounds that you falsified some information, like um, date of birth or something. Hmm. That's a nice one. Ah, but it's so unfortunate that it didn't work out at all. Mm. Ah. See, let's just forget about it. We'll try something better next time. Okay. Mm. So... We are losers, right? So it is. Uh, well, I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll try something better next time.
You mean it's possible? Yeah, with testimonies. They have pictures of over 15 people whom bought the green card from others who could not afford the processing charges. So, who's one am I supposed to buy now? When we get to that river, you know the kind of water that flows in it. I don't get you right. I mean, once you make your payment, then they will provide you with details. And it will definitely be that of a female whose name you can now adopt. Hey, what about the picture? I mean, the passport the person used. We may not look alike. <laughs> it's like you've not traveled out of this country before. If 10 Chinese walk past you wearing the same clothes, can you differentiate them? But that's not what I'm saying. That is exactly how the white man sees the black. They can't tell Amanda from Eniola on the same spot. So make your money available and you will see how it works. Okay, I trust your judgment. So how much do I make available and to who? Roma, how are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Sorry, um, Eniola doesn't seem to be at home. I haven't seen her actually since she left for the embassy early this morning. Um, actually, sir, we're not here to see Eniola. We're here to see you. Oh. Um, I'm Sam. Sir, we are here to make a, a confession, sir. You came to confess to me? Yes, sir. So you're making thank you payment to me as your introducer slash the agency and an additional 70k to the original green card lottery winner. That's 80k. Exactly. <sighs> Sounds like a fair deal. No, no, no. It's a lovely deal. So when are you making it available? Give me a few minutes. So the two of you actually connived with Eniola to defraud me? And fool my family? I'm um, sir. I'm uh, sir. We are very, very sorry. We were led by the evil spirit, sir. Yes, sir. The Holy Spirit has directed us to come and confess to you and ask for forgiveness. Do you know the level of embarrassment this will cause my family? Um, hmm? Yes, sir. We know we have disgraced you and us, sir. Do you know the consequences of this scam? This, this blemish act? Hmm? No, sir. Please, forgive us, sir. Please, sir. Yes, sir. Please, Please. sir. I have forgiven you. <sighs> but the police will get to hear about this. I am giving you the last chance to confess to the family the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Then I'm telling the truth. It wasn't my idea. It was theirs. Eh? It was theirs? 419. Will you shut up your mouth or I'll smack you now? Don't you know she's your elder sister? I'm waiting. Daddy, that is the whole truth. Okay, okay, the only part I haven't mentioned is that, um, I, I, um... Say it! Dad, can I put it in writing? Are you deaf and dumb? Confess your sins! Then I'm going to slap this... Will you shut up and, and, and answer me? I, I collected 50,000 from Amanda this evening. And I promised to also help her, but it was all a lie. Eniola! So you're this talented! Faye, please forgive her. You know Jesus Christ said, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Mom, please let's just leave Jesus Christ out of this for now. Because they knew exactly what they were doing. Honey, don't mind them. Don't listen to them. For they know not what they are saying. Please forgive her. It's the handwork of the government. What? What has government got to do with your daughter defrauding the entire family? Unemployment. 
If government provides job for its steamy graduates, and your lab will not be this criminally creative. You are lying. And we are wrong. And Yola has never wanted to work since she graduated. She never went out to look for any job. She didn't do anything. Now, what has government got to do with that? I wonder, oh, Daddy. I just hope that someday someone will not blame the government for not putting salt in their food. Will the two of you shut up or I will send you out of this place? You will be punished for what you have done. Let me tell you, I have contacted the police and the police on its way here if very shortly, and they'll take you away. Uh, Daddy, please now. Fiji. Well, you have a choice. Either you spend one week in the police cell, or you go to the village and spend one month helping your grandma with farm work. You have two minutes to decide starting now. <sighs> the police cell is better, Daddy. Um, I support it. Yeah, I don't support too. But, Fiji, you are going too far. Hey? One minute gone. Um, okay, I'll go to the village. You go to the village? Okay, in that case, I am going with her. Daddy, can I go to the village with them too? And we have eight countries in the world. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okola, do you know we have one planet in the world? You mean the world to me. My heart beats for you. for you. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Thank God! Oh, Musa, please, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's go. Don't be in a hurry. Why? Why are you running late for the seminar? The seminar doesn't mean the world to me right now. But you can't prepare for us at any seminar, so why are you... There's something more important I need to talk to you about. Oh, what is that? I need to talk to you. Of course you're not talking to my ghost, are you? Mukola, do you know it takes two tango to tango? What are you saying? I don't know tango concerning the seminar. No, no, sorry, sorry. I mean, eight countries in the world. What? Eight countries in the world? No, 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 no. I mean, we have 204 planets. Jesus, no so? Sorry, 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 that's not what I meant to say. Then what is it? I... I... I want to tell you that we have 9 billion countries of the people of the world. No so? Are you okay? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It's an assignment I'm doing for geography students. A roommate of mine. Please stop budging yourself that Apple's assignment. Please, let's go, Joe. Let's go. No, so it is clear to me now that you're one of the reasons why so many ladies out there are going to remain single for a long time. Uh, but I'm trying my best. Why can't she understand that? That's that what? You will grow grey hair if you are hoping and waiting for her to read your mind. But my emotions are obvious now. Why can't she just understand that? Now? Hey, please, she... give me back my lover's guide. Give it to me. I've seen that you are disgracing and embarrassing my constituency. J boy, cool down now. I still need this. For how long? You have heard of that book for the past two weeks. And today that you summed up the courage to preach the gospel to her, you freaked out and, and, and allowed the devil to take over the pulpit. It's not like that. I... Then how? See, 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 I'm, let me be very frank with you. I'm not here to waste my time. If you know that you cannot woo a girl, then you better convert to gay and start to 
Chelsea men, I think it would be easier for you. Ah, uh, Chibu, why can't you suggest such a thing? I, I've not even wooed a girl and you're like, telling me to go after men. Do you want me to be admitted from beatings? Then what else do you want me to say? At your age, at your level, with all my coaches, no result. How else do you want me to take this? J-Boy, please, help me. Help me just one more time. How? What, what do you want me to do? Should I go and toast her for you? See, let me tell you, it's very clear to me that eventually, if you get this girl, it will take you two good years to give her an early peck. And another five years for you to get to the permanent site. Just help me get to the temporary site first. <sighs> okay, let's start on the fresh slate. This is new arrangement. If you mess this one up, I'm going to frustrate you. I will deal with you if you don't get this girl. Stamanda, I've been wanting to ask you something private. But we're alone, so you can tell me anything. Um, I... I don't even know how to put it. Put it however it comes to you. Okay, um... I want to know how... How do you know if someone loves you and you're in love with the person? <laughs> the answer is within the question. How? Okay. How do you know when you're hungry? Yeah, I just know that I'm hungry and maybe my stomach will be biting me. Something like that. That is it. No one will tell you when you're in love. You just feel it. So now that you do not know, it simply means you're not of age to fall in love. And so what's the right age for now? How old are you now? I'm 15 going 16. So you have like 5 to 6 years to get to that age. But my classmate said 18 is the right age. Why are you changing it? 18 means you have come of age. The right time to begin to listen or care about love is when you get to the higher institution. Okay, what if one gets into the higher institution before 18? Can he or she fall in love? No. Why? No, sir. After a careful examination of your case file, I realized that you belong to the WIMP group. WIMP group? What case file? Your love case file, of course. I realized that you belong to the group of men that are nice, handsome, but lacks the required liver and it takes time to express their feelings to the woman they admire. You see, this girl is my friend. She's my classmate. She's my confidant. In fact, I don't know how she reacts if I tell her how I feel. Then why don't you die in silence and stop bothering me? No, nah, G-Boy, I thought you said you should start on the fresh date. See, see, yeah? the reason why you are not making progress is because you are not spending money. Ah, uh, no. Uh, Buki does not need my money. In fact, sometimes she lends me money when I'm broke. Who is talking about you spending money on her? I'm talking about you spending money on me. How? I've been providing you free services. By the time you start paying for services rendered, you will sit up and dust your heart. But I want to tell her... See, see, if you really need my help here, we have to discuss my benefits. Else, just forget Buki. And if you waste time, I'm going to snatch her away from you because that girl is a potential office. Ah, uh, please don't do that to you. You know I'm deeply in love with you. Hey, Chata Poo, deeply in love with you. Can you stand in front of Buki and tell her that you are deeply in love with her and deeply in love with her? That's why I want you to help me. That is why I want you to pay me. Buki, how much? I don't think I can wait till that age, you. Simi, love is complicated. That's why I'm here, for you to help me to fight. And you are complicating the more. Simi, is... Anyone telling you he likes you or something? He's been telling me he loves me. Who is he? Um, my, sorry, I'll ask you. He gave me this letter. My lovely Simi, your beauty confuses me with that of the moon. Each time I see you, I forget the moon. And when I see it, it reminds me of you. You're my world. Please let me into your world so that we can shine and be together forever. I await your response, ASAP. No, this is really easy. Uh, what's the meaning of ASAP? As soon as possible. So, have you responded to this letter? No, that's why I'm here, for you to help me. I don't know what to reply. Simi, do you want me to tell you the truth? Yes. We should not be discussing this. Mr. Mother, why are you talking like this? You know if I should tell any other book, bookie, they report me to my dad. I'm... That's because you are not of right age to talk about love. Okay, what if I follow my mind and make mistakes? Okay, go and get me a pen and paper. Let me tell you what to reply your this. So, 
I die for you? I'm not here for entertainment. I have something urgent I need to tell you. I'm aware of that. How come? <laughs> Since you couldn't wait for me to come to school tomorrow, I know it's important. Hmm. Okay. So what is it? Um. Okay, just give me that glass of water. I'm really dehydrated. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Simi. How are you? A friend of mine told me that cowards die a thousand times before their actual death. Do you know that? That's very true. So instead of dying in silence, I've decided to tell you something I've been wanting to tell you. Okay, let's hear it. Um, I need you to do something small for me. And so, is there a problem? Yeah, yes. I need a small loan. Oh, come on now. So, this is something more serious than that. Oh, come on. Oh. Um, that's not all. How much is it? Any amount. Any amount? Don't you have a purpose for the loan? I owe some guys money in the hostel and they've been disturbing me. And I can't think straight or even... In fact... How much is it? 2,000k. No, sorry. 2k. you this girl is an office please stop seeing her that way see guy you have to sharp it up oh anyway that aside i hope the formula worked perfectly well that's sweet so how did you apply it tell me exactly the way you said she, i should react no 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 give me details what was her reaction mm, well um i told her straight i was deeply in love with the girl but i didn't tell her who the girl is that's good that's very good so what did she say uh, she acted the way she said she would, and, but she asked me who the girl is. Good! <laughs> that is very good. So, what was your response to that? What was your response to that now? So, what is the name of this USB guy? His name is my guy now. He said I should accept. I'm just joking. So, what is his name? Patrick. So, did this your Patrick tell you the reason why he's not going to accept your reply? I don't know for him more. He only said that he does not want Christian love. That the love he wants is different from Christian love. And what did you tell him? I told him that my school mother said Christian love is better than every kind of love. And he said I don't know anything. See, Simi, you're like a budding flower to boys now. They will tell you all the sweet words you want to hear so that they can pluck and play with your flower. The moment they see you have withered, they will drop you and move to the next flower. But it's a very caring and handsome guy. I wasn't expecting him to be ugly and wicked. Every boy is caring and kind, only when you're fresh. See, me, if you want us to remain friends, you have to focus on your studies. I keep telling him to come to your church to see God's love. Okay, I'll keep telling him that. Better. Um, J-Boy, I didn't tell her she's the one I'm in love with. Oh, my God. You'll never fail again. No, 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 not at all. I wanted to introduce an element of suspense. You see, she was curious, so I told her to come over to the hostel so I can get the chance to confine the Namo and practice what you've taught me. Hmm. I think you are learning fast. It's not a bad idea. So we are expecting her at the hostel this evening. Um, yes, yes. That's the agenda. That's lovely. So what do I get my balance? I thought we agreed when I get my first kiss. And that should happen this evening. Because I don't want you to delay my balance. 
and make sure when you kiss her, don't wipe your lips so that I'll be sure you kiss her and get my balance. Okay, okay. Can we go now? Something like that. No, so, is it going to take forever for Buki to come? I'm wondering too. What do you mean you're wondering too? Didn't she assure you of her coming? She did before I left there, but maybe she changed her mind later. See, I want my balance today. You better call her and find out if she's coming or not. I've been calling her since and she suddenly switched off her number. What? She switched off on you? No, 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 no. I know my friend. She hey, that. up! Which friend? Why would you be making friends with a girl in the first place? Instead of going straight to the business. It is this your necessary closeness to her that is making you to lose your liver and intestine to express your love for her. Eh? See, see Nosu, this girl that is coming, we are going to use her to rehearse. Eh? Rehearse what? See, we have to use her to rehearse. We are going to tell Buki if she comes. Wait, 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 wait. Baby, what's up? Excuse me. My name is Jayborn. Please, I'm not interested in knowing your name. Why did you stop me? Oh, come on, be friendly now. We're not quarreling. Uh, this kind of attitude can make a girl remain single for a very long time. Is that why you stopped me? Uh, that's not the reason. But I just wanted to be friendly, you see? I went to meet my friend sitting over there and just talk with him. And... <laughs> Which your friend? I mean mine. No, sir! not here. Yesterday you lied that she was coming to the hostess to see us. She didn't come. And when I called again for you to practicalize and rehearse your toasting skills, you ran away like a frightened dog. No, trust me. I didn't lie to you. She couldn't call because her father came very early and she didn't have an excuse to, to come out at that time of day. And as for the girl, I wasn't ready. Nice storyline, but I'm not buying it. I'm serious. Trust me. Who is not serious here? Look, who is the joker here? Look, Nonso, I'm here for a very serious business. Don't forget I'm collecting my balance today. I'm, see, I'm just tired of your stupid lies. I can't keep up with them anymore. See, it took a lot for me to convince her to come for this meeting. And you don't expect me to kiss her today. Especially not in this, this public place. I may not survive it. I'll be glad if you die doing it. Whether you like it or not, you will kiss her today and I must collect my balance. And I'll be here to supervise the kissing. I'm not joking, no. Please, now, eh? Why are you so particular about the kiss? Why the rush? Oh, so you don't know. See this, Mumu. You kiss her and I get my balance. You think I'm ready to wait for another boring six months before you kiss her for me to collect my balance? I'm joking. But you will not sit on the same table with us, though. You have to go far away. It's not a problem. That's no issue. I will sit very far away. But I will make sure I watch you kiss her like I've taught you. But what if I do and she slaps me in return? Nina? Just can I borrow your perfume? To impress who? Must I spray perfume to impress someone? Then there's no need wasting it. You know the battle I go through before buying this perf. It's not meant for fruitless spraying. Which one is fruitless spraying? Buki, you are still a student. This perfume is not meant for students. It's meant for serious business. After all, you don't have body odor. Just a little, please. Why are you even going out to see? Don't I have the right to know? Let me spray it for you. Is 
it because of this perf you're spreading your wings like someone that wants to fly? Hila, please, I'm running late. Then close your armpit because I'm not going to spray this perf into that white armpit of yours. So where else are you going to spray it? Your eyes, I guess. Now, so, by trying to bring you and Buki together can be turned as marketing. Really? Oh, yeah. And eventually when she comes and you express your heart desire to her, that is like presenting a business proposal. But when she accepts or rejects, what do you call that? That is simply proposal endorsement or rejection. And eventually when you kiss her and she gives you a hot slap in return, that is customer's feedback. No, 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 no. Ah, I don't want that kind of feedback. Oh. See, no, so every venture that involves risk needs customers feedback for you to know whether to proceed or not no so you have to do it you have to do it today So you're totally wrong. It's not everyone. Look at you. I can prove to you that 85% of the project topics are photocopied. In fact, 100%. There are students in the past who diligently carried their research without copying. Some don't even copy. They just photocopy an old project topic, submit it to the supervisor with two bottles of wine and an envelope, and they get a B or C. It's appalling that someone cannot say something about his project after his graduation. It's a shame. I thank God they don't even defend projects in our department. Not only our department, there are so many faculties where projects are not being defended. But if I have my way, I will scream for it to be done in every faculty. Please, oh, ah, not in my time. Oh. I beg, no spoil market for me. I want to graduate before such a time. So you subscribe to the improper way students are being churned out of the university system every year? Buki, let's leave the things we can change and change the things we can. It's a shame. But know that you and I must carry out our research in a normal way. Prepared when the time comes. Okay, ma. Um, so, what's the important thing I brought us here? Stamanda, you won't believe what happened today in my school. What happened? Hope nobody died. What did I do? Sarah is dead. What? Who is she? She's my classmate. They said she did abortion and she died. Oh my god. But how did you do abortion? I don't think you should know about that. But I think you should know what causes abortion and eventual death. What? Exchanging love letters with your SP. Uh, that's true. So now what will be your next reply to your SP? I'll tell my daughter to die like Sarah and I am not of age. Good. So now I want you to go home and change your uniform because I need to teach you some designs. Okay. You also teach me more things about love. Oh, sorry, I'm not Move out of this place now. Who threw my bag on the floor? Say I'm talking now. Why don't you stop talking and start singing since I can't hear you talk? Well, you didn't say anything now. Where are you even coming from, by the way? I want to greet Sister Amanda. So you could drop your bag and go to greet small Amanda, who is not even up to my level. But came here and started interrogating me, Abby. Okay, I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Please, who threw my bag on the floor? Ask the floor. See me? I'm seriously suspecting your usual movement and closeness to the Amanda girl. What did I do that you are suspecting now? What do you go there to do every day? Every day when you come back from school, fiam, Amanda's place. If I catch you gossiping me with that Amanda girl, eh, I will expose all your secrets in this house. I don't have any secrets. Oh. 
I don't have any secret yet. Oh, don't worry. You'll soon explain to Daddy who has been writing those love letters to you. So you think I don't see them, Abby? Because I've been overlooking you. So you've been secretly reading them. By the time your heart is broken once or twice, you will learn about love. If love was something to be taught, they would have included it in your work curriculum. I will never wash any of your clothes in this house again. Okay. Oh, my sister, be ready to face that is funny. Then I will also tell that there is no money from his job yesterday. Oh, so you think I didn't see you, Abby? So you know, how did you see me? The same way you saw my letters. Hope you have a do not steal on each other. <laughs> no, so you are very funny. But I didn't hear it. Can you say it again? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's so what you're gonna be telling me, Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you in private. No, so what on earth were you whispering to that girl in there? I was not whispering to her now. I, I was kissing her like instructed. He? Is that what you call a kiss? Is that, is, that, is that what you call a kiss in your village? Uh, something like that now. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Kisa. Well done. Let me have my balance. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the hostel. If I do now, I won't be able to pay for our drinks. Uh, okay. Do you have call credit on your phone? I just want to call a friend and ask where he is. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, just like it's there. Lasso, you see this phone? You will not get this phone until you go in there and kiss that girl properly, as instructed. In fact, I'm going in there now to expose you to her that you're in love with her, but you cannot even say it. Don't touch me. I'm J Boy. I guess you know me. Yeah, I see you around the campus. Okay, without wasting your time, um. I'm here to speak to you on behalf of my friend, Nansu. Your friend? Yeah. Uh, Shut up. Yes, my friend here yeah, has something very important to tell me, but uh, he doesn't have the guts to say it. So I said I should come and speak to you on behalf of him. I'm listening. Okay. Um. Uh, it's like a confession, you know. A confession. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. Yeah. Uh, no, so please excuse us so that I do this properly, please. Excuse us. First and foremost, I, I want to say I like the scent of your perfume. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I also like your hairdo. It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, um, I'm not a studio student, but I'm not dull. Neither am I on serious. I'm just there, you know. I outwardly, I'm not be the kind of guy you desire, but inwardly, I can tell you, I'm the kind of man you desire for life. I don't get it. I thought you said you were here to speak on behalf of your friend. Oh, oh come on. That was just a trick to get close to you to do what I'm doing now. That means you're not a good guy inwardly too. Oh no, my dear, it's not like that. You see, even if it means stealing to get close to you, I just have to do it because you're worth it. You know, uh, there was no other better way to do it than this. I'm sorry. So, what do you want from me? Uh, you know, I, I've been asking my friend, as your friend also, to, to tell you how I feel about you. But he's been saying he doesn't know how you're going to react and all that. So, I just said, okay. Let me come talk to you myself. Why would I? It's better to express your feelings and suppress it. And besides, I love people who air their minds, not care who's ox is God. Wow, I really appreciate that kind of encouragement. Um, you see, Buki, I, I want a place in your heart. You see, don't judge me with my attitude. Look well, at I have heard. Meaning? I have to put one I want together. I don't really know you that well. 
and I'm not sure if I'm looking for a relationship right now. But you spoke in your mind, so you give me time to think about it, and I'll speak my mind soon. Oh, God bless you for that. I, I, I like that. Um, but can you, can I have your number so that we'll talk on phone subsequently? Oh, why not? Okay. Oh, oh, it's oh, yeah. three, four, okay. zero, one, okay. five, six, okay. eight, nine, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, no, so it's your friend. Um, Bookie, thank you very much. I, we'll, we'll talk of food, but please, one more last favor. I, you know, I really like the scent of your perfume. I, I don't know. Please, can, can we just hug? It's hug you, you know? Please. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you very much. J-Boy lied to you. Lied to me about what? He had never told me that he likes you, let alone love you. Mm. I see. Maybe still liking me from today, right? He doesn't love you and he will never love you. He's just a bloody liar. No, so why are you bitter about this? You don't have led him to me. Yes, so, are you going to like him or what? I don't hate him. So, doesn't mean you are thinking about what he told you? Oh, no, so please. You've been hitting on this issue from school to this place. See, a woman feels complete when she's being admired and appreciated, though sometimes you may be pompous about it. Just promise me you, you won't like him. Do you mind telling me why? Because he's a cultist and he's going to hurt you. Your friend is a cultist and you brought him close to me? Okay, I promise I'll try not to like him. I'm tired. Can I go in now? Yes. Buki, please wait. No, so what is it? Uh, I have something to tell you. I, I, um, I like your perfume. Thank you. Uh, one last favor. Oh, no, so what is it again? Can I... Can I kiss... Sorry. Can I hold you? to let you know that tomorrow marks our 25th wedding anniversary. Wow! Congratulations, Dad and Mom. Congrats, Daddy and Mommy. God be praised. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you all. And that is not all. That is not all. Your mother and I have decided that we want to celebrate it in a small way. See, small way? When and where did we agree on that? Let me finish now, then you can make your observation. Uh, no, I have to observe now before I forget. Ah, how can you say we will celebrate 25 years of happily married life in a small way? Ah, ah. But mommy, that is... Oh, shut up, Bukola, I'm still talking. I'm sorry. See, 25 years of a man and a woman living together in this, our modern society, is not an easy fit, you know. So what are you suggesting? If you reflect very well. You will know that it has not been easy living with you for the past 25 years and having these wonderful children for you. You still have not suggested how the anniversary should be celebrated. Let me learn now, eh? First and foremost, for the next 25 years to come, the past 25 years have to be well celebrated. So. How exactly are we going to appreciate the next 25 years? Very simple. One, I am not going to celebrate it in a small way. Mm -mm. It must be in a very big way. And for us to have the first celebration plan, I suggest two anniversary planning committees to be set up immediately. There must be a proper planning for us to have a grand celebration now. Yes, now. Ah, and it's like Independence Day celebration. It is bigger than that. Oh yes. So where are the committees coming from? Amongst the children, of course, and you and I as the head of each committee. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Okay, if it makes you happy, you can select the members of the committees. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know about you, but as for me, as the head of my own committee, Enola is going to be a member, as well as Seminolua. You can make do with Toby and Bukola. Daddy, that is very fine. I'm okay by it as well. Okay. Now, the basic duties of this committee is will be to come out with a budget for the anniversary and a lineup of events for the for the anniversary as well. And this has to be ready in the next 36 hours. Yeah, the has to be ready before then. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's my position in the committee? So we go for a big round. I suggest Doc Fowl, very sweet. Oh, shut up, Simi. Mm, I thought you said I was a member of the committee. I could suggest anything. Is that why you should suggest something very silly? Who eats dog fowl? No, no. Uh, so, Mommy, what do you suggest? And first and foremost, Eniola, I want you to realize the weight behind this anniversary. 25 years <laughs> is not Yaman being so poor. So many people have divorced and remarried. Some have even gotten separated within this years. But here I am. Mm. Okay, so mommy, what do I write? Write a big cow there. Cow? Do you mean a full life cow? Mm. A half dead cow. Do you have a problem with that? I mean, so slaughter elephants when it's 50 years. Simi. Mommy, please, have written that one. So what's the next hey. item? See, Simi. If you don't feel comfortable with this committee, you have the right to join your father's committee now because I see myself slapping you very soon. Okay, mommy, I'll send him again. Better. Georgia, your mommy, please put one and a half bags of rice there. Okay. Mommy, see Uncle Ben's right, put my rice. <sighs> oh, I said I'll send him again. That I think the entire celebration should last like, um, let's say, three days. Three days? But that's too long. Daddy, that is fine. Okay. So what are the events that will take place on the three days? Um, we could um, entertain the guests at home on the first day. Okay. <laughs> then day two being Saturday, we'll proceed to do some charity work. Ah, charity work. That sounds good. So, what exactly? Um, Daddy, I think it should be a time for us to remember the less privileged, the destitute and... Yeah, this is a great opportunity to reach out to the orphans, yeah. Ah, that's good. So, from the two of you then, what do we donate to them? Daddy, let me tell you. Anything is useful to the orphans, like our used books, shoes, mm -hmm. clothes, yeah. just anything could be helpful to them. Ah, great. Your mother and I will also make cash donations. And Daddy could also bring in some food items like rice, beans and, um... Not oil. Ah, God bless the two of you. You know, I just didn't think of these things. That orphans are always forgotten, and at times like this, they should be remembered. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, Daddy, we could also add little medicine and baby things for them. Done! And we'll spend quality time with them. In fact, we'll dedicate the day to the orphans. Exactly. So now, day three. What happens? Uh, Daddy, day three is Sunday, and that should be for special thanksgiving at the church. Ah, oh, wonderful. The three days will be remarkable. <laughs> uh, that's it. I think the, we should proceed to what exactly will be prepared for the guests on the first day. Yeah. And there should also be light refreshments after the Thanksgiving on Sunday. Oh, that is certain. Yeah. So did you add and there should be a saw as well. Should we use goat meat? Uh, now, Eniola, mm -hmm. I want you to put money for the printing of invitation cards there. I hope I should also include money for Shwebi. Oh, we'll carry your money. Well, Adomi, please put it. Very good, I like it. Because all my well wishers should be able to buy and wear a uniformed materials to identify with me on that day. Ah! Mom, okay. please, can I contribute something? As long as it's going to add value to what we are saying. Sorry, Mom, is there a contribution as such? Then what is it? It's a question. Make it fast so that we can move to the next item. Okay, Mommy, you said that um, we should add the amount for printing of invitation cards. And now, Sister Emiela said that there should also be a shabby. That is part of the that should be bought. Is this a contribution or a, a, a question? Mommy, I'm only building up the question. Go ahead with your question and stop building up things. Okay, Mommy, my question is Are you married at all again? Do you have a problem with that? No, there's no problem. I'm just thinking that the plan is getting bigger than that of an ordinary anniversary. Mubi, are you 
calling my wedding anniversary a 25 years wedding anniversary an ordinary one, Simi? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Simi, whoa, well, if you don't keep this map of your shots till the end of this meeting, you will see what I'll do to you. I'll try, mommy. Hey, mommy, please forgive her for she doesn't know what marriage is all about. This map, eh? You will see. George, where were we? Uh -huh. So we are done with the issue of party dress code material. Mm -hmm. The next item is a, a musician to entertain yeah. them. Let's call Whiskey. A Whiskey you call. It is not only Whiskey you will call. You will call a Mary Kid. Please, Charlie, my dear daughter, write there for me the one and only KSA, King Sonia Day himself. King Sonia Day? Yes, Eliola. He is the only one that fits into this kind of vocation. Write it, Joe. Write it. Your father has the money. He will pay. Get ya! Ah! Hey! Hey, that's very charming. Eh? It's not easy. 25 years. Sister Mana is going to be very big. How big? So let me tell you what's going to happen. First, we're searching a life count. And King Sonia is going to be on the band at that day, too. Come on, see me, you're kidding me. I'm my kid, you're my kid. You mean the anniversary is going to be that big? My mom said her market senior members will be there. Even our village people. Yeah, unless I forget, Ali Baba is going to be the MC on that day, too. Wow, that's a really big one. I'm telling you. Yeah, they said it's going to be a shady. Really? That's why I came to meet now. You know you're into this um, clothes making business. I'm just going to, to buy the materials and just the design. Ah, oh, Simi, you have just won my heart for life. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome, but I don't want all these normal designs. I want like a friend concept. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Don't worry. I know what's cool and modern. I'm going to bring up a design that will suit everybody and bring out the African Silent. No, not Africa. Let's be American now. I don't like when all this is a bit that will make someone look like one reverend sister in a little village. See me? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, it's going to be very lovely. Who is in charge of the Yashabi contract? Um, for now, it's Eniola. Eniola? Yes, ma'am. Can't you meet her? I'm not going to meet her. Of course, I can meet her. Welcome. Welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank you very much. Um, you see, <clears throat> my wife and I, we thought it wise to come and inform you personally uh, that plants are in top gear for a very low keyed 25th wedding anniversary celebration mm -hmm. coming up this weekend. Wow. Um. Uh, please don't mind my husband. That is how he describes very expensive things in a small way. Mm. Actually, is going to be the talk of the town. Mm. It's well, it's well, it's quite well, mm. quite well for both of you. <laughs> Even though we've heard about it, you've heard about it. Oh how? yes, we've heard about it. How? From who? It's a small world, and the worlds have ears. Anyway, we're happy for you people, and we're ready to give you our support. Thank you very much. Mm. <laughs> There is no hiding place for the golden fish, you know. Yes. Didn't I tell you, honey, that is going to be the talk of the town. We are just at the planning stage, and the news is already all over the town. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this one. Wagba. Eh? Ayabo. Oramu. Eh, don't forget to tell me about the Ashebi when it comes out. Of course, my friend, I will. <laughs> And we are going to bring the invitation cards to you very soon so that we can make it official. Exactly. Okay. Well, we are there at every given point in time to support you. Yes. Congratulations. 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 Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, we will take our leave now. Okay. Yes. Uh, are we going? No. Uh, uh, okay, now. We'll see okay. you there. Thank, Thank you very yes. much. Yes. Bye bye. Yes. Why are you staring at me like that? What stops you from taking bold steps like Mr. Benjamin? Is our wedding job 25 years? What really is the difference? 24? 25? I don't see any difference. Okay? Well, I see a difference. 12 solid months is a big difference, okay? <laughs> My dear, you don't...
don't know what can happen tomorrow. One does not have to wait till 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 I can hey, 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 hey. I'm not planning to die before the next 12 months. Okay? So patience is the word. <laughs> Listen, Amanda. Though well, Simi has said severely that you know one or two things about Elohim, sir, you are not qualified for this actual religion. Are you just going to write me off straight away without even considering what I have done? Who and who have you done for? See, I'm an ardent follower of fashion shows, live and on TV. And I've never seen you behind the stage, talk much of behind the cameras. So tell me, what and who have you designed for? See, Eniola, I can handle this as a big job very well. Mm. Okay, just because I'm not yet a household name in the fashion world, doesn't mean I'm not going to be very soon. At least I have to start from somewhere now. Eh? This is a wrong place for you to start from. See, this party is bigger than what you have ever seen or will ever dream of in your entire life. You can't handle it. Why don't you give me a chance to prove you wrong at least? Prove me wrong, right? Yes. Now tell me, where do you import your materials from? Um, I get my fabrics from Kano, John. Ah! Please, 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 don't even go further. I'm talking about importation, and here you are mentioning Kano. Where's Kano? Local market here. Wait, is it that you don't understand the simple meaning of importation or what? Okay, I take it that you don't want to give me this job. That's why you ridiculing me. No! If you had mentioned a place like Ghana or something, then I would have considered giving you the job. Why would you ever think of using fabrics from, from, from local markets like Kano for my mom's 25th marriage anniversary? You started the ridicule. That's the major problem we have in this country. We don't value and appreciate our own goods. Mm. Yes, we so much believe in goods that are brought into the country. Whether good or bad, we don't care. We can even pay twice the price for substandard products, as long as they bear foreign tag. Well, I guess you need to discuss that with Standard Organization of Nigeria. Definitely not me. Well, there's another reason I might consider giving you this job. That's if you show me some level of expertise in this job, how else do you want me to show it? Now, can you import the material from outside this country? Of course, I can get suppliers from Benin Republic. Hey! Will you stop mentioning names of local markets? Talk about places like Dubai, China, or even London. Then I will know your onions. Huh. Well, aside that, there's another condition I, of which I can grant you this job. Let's hear it. I get 10% of all the total sales of the materials. 200 pieces. Are you in or you're out? Mm. <laughs> so we have a deal. Yes, we need a cow. See, you know what, Buki? You have a very thin idea of how this marriage anniversary should look like. Thank God for you that has a very fat idea of how it should look like. Hey, Okay, that is calling up like um, team members come and render their plans and budgets. Okay. Well, it's winning. My oh. committee is winning. My committee. I trust mommy anyway. Having listed the required items for the anniversary, the committee also recommend that the activities should not exceed four days. <coughs> Starting from Thursday this week, the lineup of events is as follows. Day 1, hosting of Obalende Women's Trade Union. Day 2, hosting of church members. Day 3, hosting of parents in laws, family members, good neighbors, friends, and village people. <coughs> then... <coughs> what? Did I say anything? Bukola, it's been long you welcome a dirty slap from me, eh? Eniola, continue. And I want total decorum here. Yeah? 
day four, which falls on a Sunday, the entire family, including specially invited guests, shall attend a special Thanksgiving service at the church headquarters. After which, there shall be a red carpet at exactly 4 p.m. Then the main event will kick off at 5 p.m. at the prestigious Tafawa Balewa Square, TBS Oniko, or the National Stadium Main Bowl, Surinere. Finally, invitation cards, informations will be sent out through book SMS by... What in God's name is all of this? Enough for this news bulletin. Who called you now? I can't take it anymore. I, I can't take it. What do you mean you can't take it, Faye? This is my 25th wedding anniversary. And so what? Oh, come off it. But come to think of it, Shebi, we had two planning committees. Why don't your committee come out and read out your report? Then we will see what we can take from yours and add to us so that all these plans will take effect. It's too bogus, mommy. This is more like a state budget. Will you shut up? No, I won't. What do you think about that? I'm not going to shut up. 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 And sit down. Finally, the total budget from our anniversary committee stands at. 255,720 naira. No cover. That's right. Hey! So, um, we have heard from our two planning committees. It is just pitiful that there is nothing achievable from the proposed budget of our number one planning committee. That's true, Dad. And it is more pitiful that our second committee is planning to turn my 25th wedding anniversary into a charity parade. An NGO, Mom. Oh, thank you. Dupre, it is, it is ridiculous and actually very unsound that you and your daughter are planning to slaughter a cow, bags of rice, uh, red carpets, and all other whatnots at the anniversary. And it is more ridiculous, Faye that our enviable and prestigious 25th marriage anniversary should be celebrated in an orphanage. Don't get it wrong, just one day. It's not as if the entire party will be held there. And who told you I am now a member of the Red Cross or an NGO that should be going about donating and celebrating in an orphanage home? Mommy! Oh! If you don't shut up your mouth, Bukola, I will give you a hot slap. Actually, I you the government. Tell me! All the pet projects and the first lady projects, are they not meant to take care of the orphans? Are they even catering for them with all the monies allocated to them? That is their problem. But as for me, I am going to no orphanage home on my G day. Mom, I'm surprised you're careless about the orphans. It's not a good trade for a, for a mother. So be there anyway. Okay. 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 Our children, go up to your rooms. This meeting is closed. What? what? What do you mean close, Faye? You have not approved the budget. Children, up to your rooms now! I'm going to fight for the car. I'm going to to lose that very told my schoolmates about you. Don't worry, my dear. My child is for me, Jared. Don't put my baby. Don't put my baby. What? See me? They cannot beat you. I'm coming. Faye. Money in this Lagos. She does it every 25 years. Mm. Look at this one. And you're like, even if I haven't, it's because I don't have all. I haven't come across it. Hey! <laughs> We're better as crawling in this Lagos. Fine, now let's do it as one family. I beg my sister. This is time for celebration. And no time for showing philanthropy. I wonder how you see things. Our happy moments are when we're even supposed to remember these people. Mm. Yeah. So we have to wait for every 25 years marriage anniversary to give us. Whatever, please. I'm not interested. You guys should continue your bogus party plans. It is either our plan or no marriage anniversary. And trust mommy anyway. Shayla, even if they can't see party, they can't see what they can't do. If it was me, I'll stop going to school because my schoolmates will boom me if I don't bring the cow. Which cow? I'm very sure cow now.
darling. Honey, sweetheart. My darling. Oh, I have called you all sort of sweet, sweet names. Eh? What else do you want me to call you before you respond to me now? Okay. Maybe because I have not called you, baby. Okay. My baby. My baby. Baby, stop, stop, stop. I've told you to go to sleep. There's nothing you do or say that will make me change my mind. This anniversary is cancelled. This issue is dead. As far as I'm concerned. Oh, uh Feyi, -uh, eh, don't do this to me now. How can you cancel such an important occasion as my 25th wedding anniversary like that? Eh? eh remember, I gave birth to four lovely children for you, and I carried each of them for nine months. Now, multiply four by nine months and divide it by four painful labors. Tell me what you're going to come out with. You see now, you can't reply. Come on, Feyi, you can't do this just because of a mere differentiation in our plans now. I have not changed my mind. You see, all of this is premised on the plan that you and Eniola concocted. Eh. Hey. Yes. Oh, so you are now referring to our lofty plans as a concussion, Abby? Do you know what you are doing? You are filling the hearts of your children with a dislike of the underprivileged. Is that the kind of adults you want them to be when they grow up? How did I do that? Oh, you don't know. You don't even know that what we are is by the grace of God. And so we must show appreciation to God. Ah, of course, but we do show appreciation to God. Shall be the other time we donated 250000 towards the church building fund. and we It is them. not enough. Look, these orphans have nothing. No town, no tribe, nobody. During this uh, anniversary, if we give a little out of what we have, it will go a long way with them. But why am I even discussing this with you? The anniversary has been cancelled, so our plans stay dead. Go to sleep. So, how are you doing? Has it been long you came? It doesn't matter at this point. Where were you? Oh, sorry. I, I just saw of one of the organizers. Of organizers? Yeah. What organizers? What are they organizing? Oh, sorry. I really didn't hint you. It's an event I'm covering this weekend. I'm actually official photographer. Seriously? Yeah. And you didn't tell me. You don't even know what type of event it is. Even if it is a burial ceremony, you should invite me to be by your side. My side? Mm -hmm. Well, it's actually not a burial ceremony. However, it's an event you cannot attend. Is it a secret cult event? Secret cult? Why should I be covering such an event? However, it a comedy award night. Wow! That should be lots of fun and laughter. Yeah. And you didn't bother to tell me. So you have another girl you want to take along, Abby? Oh, Annie, it's not that. It's just that this particular event you cannot attend because it's taking place at night. And God knows your almighty dad won't let you go out at such an hour. Not when we coined some good lie to tell him. Yeah, that would have been really nice. But unfortunately, I don't tell lies. Especially on weekdays. Richard, what do you mean by that? So you reserve all your lies till weekends before you bomb them. Oh, come on. I don't bomb lies. So why would you say you don't lie on weekdays? Okay, okay. It's all right. Let's just frame an acceptable and harmless lie to tell your dad. Now you're talking. So what do you suggest? Hmm, let me think. Hi, So what's happening this time? But well, something happened before we come to say hi to Eniola. <laughs> we just drove by to say hi. Oh, well, I always wonder why the two of you are always in a row. Meaning what? Never mind. Eniola is not at home. So that's why I'm wondering. What's happening? Where did she go to? 
I should be asking the two of you. You know her timetable better than I do. Come on, Bookie. Why are you always this furious? What's furious about me stating the obvious? Okay, can we at least drop a message for her with you? Should I give you a pen and paper to write it down? Um, well, Kiki, um, why don't you wait for Emula here? Um, we're not actually in a hurry, right? You're right. <laughs> well, that's a better decision, since the employment market is yet to favor any of you. Why not idle away your time at another jobless friend's place? Come, mm -hmm. okay. I hope you're not calling us jobless girls. Boomer, she just did. So why ask them? You just don't bomb into someone's place, start some invitation. Or bring a former jobless colleague you're visiting. Why don't you just um, give us some space to cool off while we wait for her? <laughs> the last time I checked, this was still my father's house. Wait a minute. Are you telling us to leave? It's a choice. Excuse me. Any babe. Richie boy. <sighs> Honestly, lying is really not an easy thing for me. Why can't you just come up with a simple lie? Baby, I'm trying. It's not just come. Try harder, Richard. You're a guy. Guys are natural liars. Remember all those sweet lies they tell girls. Come on. Hey, hey Annie. Seriously, if there are any set of people I don't lie to in this world, they are girls. So you mean you've never told a girl a lie before? How you would love and care for her and it's all a big lie? Tell me, how many times have I lied to you? Mm, mm, I can't remember. But that doesn't mean you don't lie, Sha. See, Richard, just come up with a simple lie. That will make me be with you at the award night, please. I still think you should be the one to coin this lie. Why? Because the lie is to be sold to your dad, whom you know better than I do. Richard, did he fall my hand? So as handsome as you are, you can't create or cook up any handsome lie that will make me be with you at the award night. Your plan don't fail. Any baby, come on, take it easy. I'm not going to take anything with you. If your plan is to go to that award night, tell me, you're lying. I'm going home, and I'm going on the internet to research for a useful lie to tell my almighty father. Good day. Any. Yeah, I'm good. Comes looking good as usual. That's nice. So tell me, how's the kitchen department? <laughs> I'm holding it up strong. I trust you. So how exactly is the modeling industry treating you girls? We are praying we do not add weights before we hit it big. <sighs> My greatest fears are this um, stretch mark rearing their ugly heads. <laughs> well, I heard you can close that with tattoos. These are on as thick as a mark drawn by a horse whip. I doubt if tattoo can cover it up. So, which areas exactly are these stretch marks distributing their networks? Um, never mind, dear. So, how is your girlfriend? Huh? Girlfriend. Oh, yeah, my girlfriend. Uh, actually, I'm not into the boyfriend and girlfriend so, thingy. What are you into? Uh, Come, Kiki and Bomastica. Ediola, where are you coming from? I'm sorry, my dear Grand Bonus. I don't like telling people places I go to on weekdays. Okay, I guess I'll let you girls be right now since uh, Charlie is here already. Thank you, Chief Cook, for keeping my friends company. Oh, you're welcome, Madam Makeup. <laughs> Alright, call me. Bye. So, why didn't you girls call me? Where were you coming from? As usual, I went to mediate between. Kiki and her boyfriend. Boma, I told you he's not my boyfriend. He's my fiance. Oh, sorry, Anyola. We are coming from Kiki's line fiance's place. What happened again? Hmm. 
Enola, that guy can break the silence of a deaf and dumb with his lies. That's the kind of guy I like. Uh -uh. A liar. Harmless liar. What kind of lie is harmless? Okay, fine. I've been in the studio with Richard, begging him all day to assist me with a lie I can tell my... A simple, harmless lie I can tell my dad. So that what can happen? He's the official photographer for the comedy award night coming up this weekend. And I want to go with him. Are you his girlfriend? How is that your business? It is her business because you can't just be policing another girl's boyfriend around town like a leech. Mm -hmm. That's a headache. I like him and I wouldn't mind dating him. Aside making him my manager. But he's not even seeing that. And I would make him see that. By being his assistant photographer? By showing him I care. And sooner or later, he would use his number six to woo me. Look, Eniola, why don't you just do the wooing and let sleeping dogs lie? Ah, 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 Kiki, sleeping dogs cannot lie in this case. Look, Richard's number six is faulty, and I don't see you activating it. And I will format his number six for him if need be. Say, that's not the most paramount issue now. I need a lie I can tell my dad so I can be at that award night point of correction so that we can be at the award night. Uh -uh. Are you girls interested too? No, we are very disinterested. Look at your mouth, normally you like groove. Fine. So let's put heads together and come up with something. <clears throat> something for you, not for us. We have license to sleep out, even for weeks. Uh -huh. My father made it obvious that my presence is irritating him at home. If a suitor comes without money, he will gladly throw me at him for free. Oh, my dad doesn't mind uh, giving me out on credit. Uh. Okay, so please, can we just come up with something? All right, all right, all right. One minute, please. <sighs> hmm. Yes, I got it. I know you will come up with something fast. Hmm. Guess a lying boyfriend taught her. Films, please. Okay, okay, what is it? Uh -huh. That reminds me, Kiki. You were calling your guy your fiance. When did he propose? Um, he was supposed to propose this week until we had this little disagreement. Hey, Eniola, that's probably another big lie. So he has to fix a date to propose. Oh, Kiki, you need to be serious with yourself. How can you call a guy who hasn't proposed yet your fiance? Eniola, maybe he has proposed in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Will you to mind your business and let us be? Let, let us, us be. be. <laughs> wait, wait. And next time, when you both have problems, you will now come to me, right? Hello, ladies. Hi, Richard. Hi. Fine, boy. Oh, come on, Kiki. Stop teasing me. <laughs> Richard, you're welcome. Thank you. We were actually on our way out, so let's leave you both um, a bit. <laughs> um, maybe someone can eventually use their sixth sense. What's sixth sense? They were on their way out, Richard. Bye, girls. Bye. Oh, try and make use of your number six, okay? Bye. What's the sixth sense? The uh, number six. Are they referring to? Um, never mind. It's something on my email. Okay. I have come up with some good excuse. Not necessarily a lie. Really? Yeah. Let's hear it. Fine. What kind of lie is that? It will work. I just remembered I've used it in the time pass. It works. You mean I should tell my dad that I'm sick and going for admission? And you think that will work? Perfectly. For you. Because for me, that won't. My dad will either tell Buki, Toby, or my mom to be by my bedside in our family hospital. So you tell me how that will work. God. I never thought about that. Seriously, Richard. You really need to up your games when it comes to lying. You're a man. At times you need to lie. Uh -uh. Anyway, never mind. Oh. Um, Kiki and Buma will be coming with us to the award. 
How? Because they helped me devise an assumed truth that would do the magic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, women are better liars than men, so I'm not surprised. Men are far better liars than women. How? I couldn't come up with a sensible lie for you, but your friends did. Women are specialized in areas of romantic and harmless life. And men? Hey, that's a no-go area. Men are gurus when it comes to painful, wicked, harmful, and destructive lies that will wound the heart beyond surgery. Okay, it's all right. I work on my lying skills. So tell me, what is it you girls came up with? <laughs> What kind of lie is that? It will work. I just remembered I've used it in the time past. It works. You mean I should tell my dad that I'm sick and going for admission? And you think that will work? Perfectly. For you. Because for me, that won't. My dad will either tell Buki, Toby, or my mom to be by my bedside in our family hospital. So you tell me how that will work. Oh God. I never thought about that. Seriously, Richard. You really need to up your games when it comes to lying. You're a man. At times you need to lie. Ah, uh, anyway, never mind. Oh. Okay. Um, Kiki and Buma will be coming with us to the award. How? Because they helped me devise an assumed truth that would do the magic. Mm -hmm. Anyway, women are better liars than men, so I'm not surprised. Men are far better liars than women. How? I couldn't come up with a sensible lie for you, but your friends did. Women are specialized in areas of romantic and harmless life. And men? Hey, that's a no-go area. Men are gurus when it comes to painful, wicked, harmful, and destructive lies that will wound the heart beyond surgery. Okay, it's all right. I work on my lying skills. So tell me, what is it you girls came up with? <laughs> Well, a couple of reasons. Really? Old age, uh, wisdom. Um, well, there are some genetic reasons uh, and other medical factors. So, what's the reason for you? Um, I. I, I ah, anyway. There is something important I want to discuss with you. Yeah, go ahead. Is it about me? Simi, please excuse us. I want to talk to Daddy alone. Don't worry, my ears are not here. I said. Wait, 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 wait. Say what you want to say. Or is it. Does it have anything to do with Simi? No, sir. Then proceed. Dad, thank you for that timely intervention. Hmm. Well, it's about an all night prayer I want to attend this weekend. All night prayer? Um, yes, Dad. It's holding at the church in Ajah, and I'm going with Kiki and Boma. They actually invited me. An all night prayer at the church in Ajah? What's the name of the church? Uh, yes, it's called um, Heaven Seekers Evangelical Ministry. Yeah. Wow, Heaven Seekers. You know what, uh, Nella? We have a church that we attend as a family. I have never once seen you attend any of the weekly services. I have never seen you attend our uh, all night prayer sessions. Okay, w w why, why Acha? That there's a special ministration and anointing taking place that night. And a powerful man of God all the way from the Republic of Congo is mounting the pulpit that night. A powerful man of God from Congo. But our pastor is not powerless now. <laughs> You know, if you attend our own church's online prayer sessions, I don't have any problem with that. But going all the way to Aja to attend an online prayer session because one Congolese man of God is coming to town to minister, that sounds like miracle chasing. And I'm not going to allow that in this family. Daddy has spoken, fully supported. That but is, is No 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 Enela. Our church's online program is coming up in two weeks. Be patient and attend that one. Aja, forget it. 
Um, but if you don't mind, Simi was doing something for me. Daddy, this hmm? all nice prayer talk has given you two new gray hairs. Really? Before you start, there's something I need to talk to you about. If it's money, just forget about it, Eniola. Mommy, it's not about money. Good. Let's hear it then. Mommy, why does daddy behave as if I'm his wife? Why does he not say the need to free me once in a while? Ah. What makes you think I am in a better position to answer that question? Because you're his wife and you're my mother. You know him better than I do. Okay, my darling Eniola, what is the bone of contention? Let me see. Kiki and Buma will be here this afternoon. Please, darling. There's nothing wrong if we allow Eniola to attend the all night prayer meetings. Please. Look, she needs all the prayers she can get to have a breakthrough in her career. I mean, we need to support her. Have we not been supporting her already? Oh, come on. I am not talking about financial support alone. She also needs our spiritual support. At least to encourage her in such all night prayers. Please. That's what I call miracle chasing. You know, when church to church, she did miracles. She was invited by her friends. They also attend the same church. Sorry, I'm not buying that. Oh, come on, darling, please. You can't do this to her. You don't know where her miracle is going to come from. By the way, Dupe, have you balanced your account today? And what has my account balancing got to do with what you are talking about? If ye... Okay, listen, and this frankly, we cannot raise our children based on this uh, miracle-seeking idea. Hey. hey. Okay. All right. I want you to look at it this way. Would you say that if we invite the Uzos to one of our monthly all-night prayer meetings, they will be miracle seekers? Come on now. There is no harm there. Allow her to go, please. Come on, darling. Okay. She will attend. On one condition. And what condition is it exactly? Hmm. I don't know what I would have done without you guys as my friends. Yeah, we are glad Kiki's formula worked. Good she has a lying boyfriend. <clears throat> Boomba, I've told you he's not my boyfriend. He's my fiance. Besides, it's not like he lies all the time, once in a while, in order not to hurt my feelings. Huh. So lies are now feelings protector. Okay, oh, save Johnny. Whatever. <laughs> you said your mom told your dad that you can only attend on one condition. So what is the condition? Yeah, that's true. She said it's going to tell her later. But I'm so sure it has something to do with my dressing or time to return. So my plan is to give you my party dress mm -hmm. to keep in your house. Professor Fee Benjamin wouldn't mind searching my handbag. Uh, that's very nice. So why don't we go get your dress now so that we don't forget? Okay, let's go to the court. Let me tell you, this man of God is a very powerful man of God. That's why my daddy even agreed that in the last go. Simi, I cannot go with you. My stepmother attends a white garment church and she wouldn't allow me to go. Me, eh? I don't like attending such meetings at all. My last experience was not a good one. Mm. What happened? My mom took us to one night at Ikeja. As the man of God was firing prayer, he waved his handkerchief and blue breeze. <sighs> everybody in the church went down. So you two, you went down? Are you deaf? Didn't you hear her? She said everybody and you still asking. My mom was even worse. The anointing was so strong, he knocked me out for most an hour. Are you sure it's not epilepsy? God forbid! Ah! Uh -uh. See, I even hit my head on a plastic chair. Um, so you have to wear a helmet for such anointing next time. Hmm. Rachel, please let's go. Simi has already reached her home and we have long put to trek. 
Let's go. We'll right. see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Simi, the first thing you do when you return from school is change your uniform, take your bath, and eat. Don't worry, I have three sets of uniform. I just wanted to tell you something I forgot to tell you before leaving for school today. What is it? It's about that um, heaven seeker has all night prayers I told you about yesterday. But you said your dad refused then you're not going because I would have loved my parents and I to attend. Yeah, I agree though. After my mom's we talked to me yesterday night. Really? Uh, do you know the address of the church? No, I don't know the address, but Eniola knows it. And I'm very sure my dad is going to find out the address in case of a missing person. Though it's tomorrow night too. Well, that's good. What are you thinking about? <laughs> don't worry, we'll talk about it later. Now, see me go and change your uniform and take your bath. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, head mistress. Let's see them. God bless you, Dad. Bless you, Mom. Bless you, my darling. I want to be on my way. Ah, that's very good. Please pray for us all. Okay, Ma. Oh, hold it. I sent Simeon an errand. She'll soon be here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ah, let, uh, I think here they are now. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Good evening. 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 Well, what's going on? Nothing much. Um, Barista told me that Amanda let him know that there is a night vigil. Mm -hmm. And so they are interested. So I asked them to take you. So you can go with Toby and see me as well. That was my original plan. Very good. Ah, what is it? That tell me it's not true. Ah. It's true. We are all going with you. So why are you surprised? Maybe she wants to share all the anointing in Ellen. You don't want them to go with you? Mommy, but I did not invite everybody now. It's just for me and my friends. Oh, the anointing of God is just for you and your friends? I wonder. Emiola, don't you want us to go with you? In fact, I'm quite confused here. Please, I and my parents really do need this anointing. Please, let's go together. <laughs> See me, I'm so sure you're the CNN that sold me out. God will bless you for your wicked acts. I'm not going to again. You can take them to wherever the anointing is. <laughs> Eniola. Eniola. No, no, Judas. So. I'm not saying anybody else. I do know that the only prayers was just for mothers and friends. <laughs> and but we can start our own only prayers here. My daddy ministers very well. Dad, what do you think? <laughs> There's a pack of condom for you here. Why did you have to put one in my luggage? To protect our future, of course. So you, you don't trust me after all these years? Do what? It's not that I don't trust you, my husband. But I don't trust the Abuja girls. Two weeks is enough to lose that trust. Oh, so if I have some bad intentions, do you think I can't go and purchase one for myself? I know you can buy it for yourself. But I am giving it to you. For you to know that I know what you think I don't know. Look, look, I have grown up girls. I'm not about to go to Abuja and start messing around with some girls. Mm. You are not the one that will run after them. They are the ones that will be running after you. I hear married men are what's kicked in Abuja. They are the most wanted. I told you to take me along. You refuse? 
Let's go together. He said no. So, this is all about me not wanting to take you. But this is a business trip. Don't turn it into a honeymoon. Indeed, Faye. Indeed. Oh, when last did you take me out? Tell me, when was the last time you took me out, Faye? Oh, you think I don't know that I am now outdated in your eyes? I have been dressing to impress you. Applying unnecessary makeups, yet you will not give me a wink, Faye. Oh, you think I don't know okay. that your plan... Okay. okay. Pack your load. And come with you, since you are so insecure. <laughs> thank you, my darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> so, mom, you finally convinced him to take you along. <laughs> and you're now you don't know your mother. Mm -hmm. hey. Please tell me about my mother. <laughs> when I was your age, no man dare play with me. I could easily get anything I wanted from any man that liked me. Ah, and I always dictate the term. Huh, that means you're sharp, oh. Sharp, okay. yeah. On that statement, I was the infant. I rocked the entire neighborhood with my staff. Hey, it's now called swag, mom. Swag, okay. <laughs> if not that I cooled down after marrying your father. Oh, you think your swag would have beaten my style? Well, anyway, that's not the reason why I'm here, Jerry. Mommy, it's painful, but your style has faded long ago. Ah, uh, don't worry. Shabi, it's soon get to your turn. Your children will say the same thing to you. It's just a matter of time. Uh, hey, Manuela. As you have known, your father and I will be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I want you to harness things when we are gone. Uh, Mommy, I'll need a location for that now. I can't harness things empty handed. You mean I should pay you for taking care of the home and your younger ones? No, that's not what I mean. I meant... Oh, just shut up! Shut up there, Ainola! Must you involve money in everything? Who she like or what buy? Mm, it's okay, mom. But I hope I also get your shop key so that I can have sales in your shop. Oh, so that I won't be able to balance my accounts when I return, Abby? Mommy, don't trust me. See, at least I trust that you cannot steal. But I don't want you to borrow from my shop and run me to deficit. So, my dear, let the shop be. So there will be no allocation to my special ministry. Ministry of what, Ojari? Ministry of Hennessy. <laughs> Tell your father, the number one man, I mean the president, to make allocation available to your non-existent ministry. Portfolio without office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stamanda, please give me a hug. I need it right now. Why a hug? Stamanda, please just hug me. <sighs> okay, so now why a sudden request for a hug? My mom and dad are traveling to Abuja and they are spending two weeks. Your mom and dad are traveling to Abuja for two weeks? Yes. I hope you're not confusing Abuja for America. No. So why do you unlimited joy? Because there's going to be unlimited freedom. Unlimited freedom to do what? To misbehave now. Oh, sorry. To come home late, eat whatever I like, invite my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Simi, you now have a boyfriend. Let alone boyfriends. I want to say my friends are boys. Oh, Simi. I can't believe you're not even bothered you're going to miss them. Rather, you're happy they're traveling. Sister Amanda, you don't understand. Though. My dad is like a chief security guard. He catches every of our moves. Every of your wrong moves. Sister Amanda, you should understand now. Those wrong moves can be necessary sometimes. Oh, my dad has sent a to come and call me again. Okay, go and answer her. Later, you come back when you're free. We need to work on some new designs, okay? I can't wait to sleep outside my house. See me. Sorry, I'm in your room. <sighs> focus on the purpose of his trip and to protect my territory. If you don't mind, I'm still talking. 
I'm sorry. I'm just trying to emphasize my role in the journey. Please. Sorry. sorry. Now, for the next two weeks that we're going to be out, I don't want to come back to this house and hear funny stories. Like stories that touch. Will you shut up your mouth? <laughs> you, Renela? Yes, sir. In the next two weeks, I want you to take charge. Okay, sir. Full charge. Okay, sir. Now, Bukola, I need you to oversee Simi. Dad, what did I do now? Nothing. I just want her to take care of you. Okay? You make sure that you look at her schoolwork. You make sure that her homeworks are well done, on time, and correct. Okay? Daddy, I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. I don't have to act as my headmistress. Will you keep quiet and listen and obey instructions? I'm sorry. Hmm? I have said this several times. I don't want you to talk when I'm talking. After I'm finished, then you can, you, you, you can air your grievances. I don't want this bad habit to ever repeat itself again in this house. Yes. Thank you. Okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so what was I? Uh, hey, uh, Toby. Yes, Dad. Now, you are going to be the man of the house in the next two weeks. Okay, Dad. Yes. Dad, and does I... that mean you will not be cooking for us again? <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. I don't even know what's wrong with you. Let me just punish myself. <laughs> Go and pour water into their ears now. It's 5 a.m. already. No, don't worry about it. I just wanted to say goodbye, anyways. But I thought you said you want the whole family to pray together before we embark on this memorable journey. Yes, the three of us can pray on behalf of the family. Uh, okay, hey, that reminds me. I can't find the keys to my shop, I've been looking for it. And then like, did you keep it for me by chance? But you said I shouldn't go near the shop. I wouldn't keep your keys. Uh, yeah, I know how I left the shop. Anything shifts. Mommy, why are you talking like this now? Can we pray now? The flight is at 6.30. Yes, we can pray. Uh, hey, please. Let's remember to commit the safety of my shop into the hands of the Almighty, even as we pray. Let's pray now. Okay. Let's take this for Shisunga. Okay. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it I called you all to brief you of mommy and daddy's final instructions as you guys were sleeping like elephants when they left. They compliment on an insult. Maybe it's a supplement. When an elder is talking, there should be no interruption. Daddy said he gave someone a check to cash for us as the person will be bringing it later today for our upkeep. How much is the money? I said when an elder is talking, there should be no interruption. And you know, that is not an interruption. It's a very good question. This money is ours and we need to know. I will judiciously use the money for the benefits of us all. As you all know that mommy placed me in charge of you all. I thought daddy said Bratu was in charge. And so? He's the man of the house. Why are you trying to overthrow him? It's been long I slapped you. You don't need to be forceful about it. Of course we know you're our other sister. We're just saying do things the right way. I'm just looking at all of you. Please, let's talk about the money and plan how to use the money wisely before our parents return. If you guys are expecting me to set up a planning and budgeting committee for the purpose of that money, you're wrong. I have the sole right to use my wisdom in spending it. I know that 85% of the money will go into cosmetics and modeling forms. One more word from you, and I will deal with you in a military fashion. I think I prefer more than fashion. Hey, this money is not even here yet and we're all rambling. Why? Okay, now, due to lack of respect and manners from you all, this meeting is hereby adjourned till further notice. <laughs> I'm really surprised that you can suddenly become so autocratic and tyrannical just because mommy and daddy traveled. Okay, remember how I used to beat you when you were younger? Hmm? I can refresh your memory with two slaps if you doubt me. Hot or good slaps? Thanks.
she is smart, I told her her old style can't beat my modern swag. I'm going to perform a haste on that shop. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessary to call him mom or dad. Let's just be patient. Patient? Till she squanders the whole money chasing all in contracts and buying what less makeups. I meant so the person brings the money. Let's just share the money so everybody will have theirs and we'll do anything we want to do with the money. How can you be sharing money that you have not even seen? If Enola tries anything funny with that money, my actions will not be palatable at all. Me too. But what's the meaning of palatable? Something not palatable is not pleasant. That means the opposite of palatable will be palatable. Oh, babes, why don't we go to a club instead of a beach? It's been like a decade since I last visited the club. Oh, so you think it's possible for us to move from the beach onto the club? Okay, so which are the beaches? Ele what? Ele Gucci. Oh, Ele Gucci. Ah, stop laughing at me now. Uh -uh. You know the only beach I know is Bar Beach. Oh, there's another Karamo Beach too. <laughs> I'm going to do a two-week tour of all the beaches and clubs in Lagos. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I come. <laughs> so what are you wearing? Come back here. Where do you think you're going? I think it's Sister Mother's house. Oh, you think it's Sister Mother's house? To do what? To gossip, Abby? Is she your mate? She's teaching me fashion designing. So why are you busy wasting daddy's money going to school? Why don't you tell him you want to be a tailor? Okay, I'll tell him when he comes back. Okay, wait for him to come back before you go there, as my government will not allow such illegal and unproductive cohabiting with someone not your mate. Okay, I've changed my mind. I want to look for someone that is my mate to play with. Will you come back here? Did you hear what I said? No, rewind. See me if you try that nonsense with me this evening. I will teach you a lesson to prove to you that I'm your elder sister. I know you are my elder sister. No one is contesting that position with you. I just want to go and teach with Sister Amanda, that's all. Now go to your room and read your books. When I was your age, I had no friends. My books were my friends. Now go back inside! That's old in this. Things have changed now. And I'm suspecting that's mommy's juice. I will not sit down sharp. <laughs> have been holding cacos meetings. What is this you think you're plotting? We're plotting a revolution. If you don't mind, you can join us. Hmm. Eniola, a clear conscience fears no accusations. Simi only came to tell us that you stopped her from going to Amanda's house and I'm wondering why. Okay, in that case, you all can remain in Wonderland. For your information, I have an all-night modeling audition tonight. Is he in church or mosque? Eniola, if dad was around, he wouldn't allow that to happen. Now he's not around. Toby's the assistant dad, so he won't let that happen too. So you're planning on staying out late? Do I have to breastfeed any of you tonight? Coming home late or staying out is against the rules and regulations of this house. So I'll start sleeping outside too. You dare! I told you I'm going for an all-night audition. And if daddy or mommy should hear it, you all will have me to grind with. Is that a threat? To be forewarned is to be forearmed. I won't tell daddy, but daddy will find out. His spirit will tell him when we're done. If you dare open your mouth! I will tell you what it takes to be an elder sister. Wait, why are you always reminding me that you're my elder sister safe? Are you scared I'll overthrow you? I'll teach you a lesson. Good evening, children. Well, Hope you're all fine. Yeah, we're all so, doing very, very fine, sir. <laughs> um, well, your parents left me instructions for you people, starting with um, this money here. Oh, so you're the person my dad said will bring the money. Exactly. Ah, but, sorry? I was instructed clearly 
to give this money to Mr. Toby here to manage on your behalf. It is not possible, sir. My dad strictly told me that I will be in charge. Maybe in charge of home maintenance, not money. Who's talking to you? I don't see why this should raise any controversy. That money is clearly for your upkeep. Ahem. Uh, Toby, there are other instructions for that money. One is that Simi gets some allowance as a pocket money. Okay, sir. And then um, Bukola gets some money when she's going for classes. I don't get this, sir. So after entrusting the supposed upkeep funds to someone other than me, their elder sister, I still do not have any allocation? Allocation? What does she mean? She means money for makeups and all these modeling oh, things. I see. No, 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 there are no instructions to that effect. There's no allocation for me as well, so I think our parents did the right thing. They did the right thing by giving you the money so that you can experiment all sort of rubbish food types, right? And I don't mind you when you talk to me. The fact that I respect you is not a sign of cowardice. And if I talk to you anyhow, what are you going to do? Will you sit down while I'm here, Eniola? I'm sorry, sir. Anyway. Over and above all that I've said, your parents instructed that every 7 p.m. you all must be indoors. I should come and check. What well, about well around 8 p.m.? No, no, I was asked to come for the head count by 10 p.m. Yeah. Is this some sort of prison or NYC camp or what? Inyola, I believe you have your father's phone number. Why don't you call and cross check with him? This is a welcome development, sir, and we're very okay with it. I support it. I second it. Actually, sir, we would prefer you come for the head count around, um, say, 11 or 12. Because some people can still sneak out at 10 p.m. Who are the people? Some people. You guys better mind yourselves. Anyway, Toby, your mother called and asked that I should give you this. Oh, a bad luck? What for, sir? Well, she complained that her shop keys miraculously grew wings and flew away before she left. So she wants you to use that key together with the other missing keys and lock up her shop. That's done, sir. Okay. Oh mm -hmm. my god. You have a problem with the padlock in your lap? Oh, no, not at all, sir. I see. I see. Well, in the absence of every other thing, I beg to take my leave. I'll see you at 10 p.m. or 12 p.m. for the head count. Thank you very much, sir. No, well, God bless you, sir. Good night, children. Can I have my pocket money? We are the pandemic. So they give me the money of the elders in the house. Call the and find out money. Ask me to hold the money. Of course, everyone knows because you are the man of the house. And your la accept your fate. It has happened. It has happened. Maybe next time everyone wants to come as an elder. Try coming as a meal. Hmm? No one needs your opinion. Now, tell me, if you don't tell me to hold this money, now we have to share it. We can't do that. Why would you do it? No. You give my pocket money first, too. We're not sharing the money. Now we have shared this money. Tommy, give the money to me. Give me the money. Give me the money. from the kitchen. Don't you know what she has to do with it? No, leave her. Let her stand there and be telling me. Yeah, it is. So, do you people mean I'm going to wash that toilet? We are very serious that you're going to sleep in it. Why must I be the one to wash it? Can't you see that we're working too? Wait, I people say you're my elder sisters. You share all the simplest chores to yourselves. See me. Before I count three, go and wash that toilet. One. See me. Send you on an error. Move now before I descend on you. Daddy just sends me to go and wash his car. No, 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 I didn't. My car does not need washing. I did that at the car wash. 
Now, what I want to know is, Nola, what is the matter? We are trying to clean the guest room for Uncle Ben's arrival. And she ran away. Wait, wait, wait. How many of you are trying to clean one room? The three of us. The three of you? If you are managing a hotel, would you deploy three of your staff to clean one room? Lady, God bless you for that righteous question. No, sir. Why? Um, it, it's a bit of a misuse of human resources. Good. So learn from home. Charity begins at home. One of you should clean the room while the others do something else. That's why I said you should tell me to do something else. So. Okay. Enola, you go back up there and finish cleaning the room. Well, do it with Buki. She's already there. Okay? Dad, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Yes, I am. I know. Okay, Dad. Alright. But I really do have something for you to do. Anything for you, Dad? Uh, okay, go to my room, wash the toilet and the bathroom. Uh, that's try it again. Is still toilet washing day? No, but that's what I want you to do. Just pour in the cleaner, flush it, and that's clean. Then wash the bathtub. Then later you call me your angel. Do angels wash bathrooms? Actually, they do. For God. You wanted me to send you an anorak? So, go. Oh, so there you are. Where have you been? I've been washing toilets. That's nice. I said I've been washing toilets. And I said that's nice. What was nice about washing toilets? See, you're safeguarding the lives of people from toilet diseases. And that's a very nice thing. So keep it up. I can't keep it up. So what are you writing? Um, I'm making a list of what we prepared for Uncle Ben's arrival. Who is Uncle Ben and where is he coming from? Uncle Ben is daddy's friend and he's coming from one of the Eastern Universities. What is he coming to do here? He's coming for his dissertation in Union Lake. What is dissertation? Dissertation is on PhD final exams. What is PhD final exams? <sighs> PhD final exams that I want to cook by Ibu Sisu. Your daughter. No, actually, I have three daughters. This is Enola, who is first, Simi is last, and uh, Buki is not at home. My son, Tobi, also went out. But you'll meet all of them later. Hey, uh, I, I wish I started early like you. Ah, your own time is not bad, too. <laughs> yes, uh, Welcome, man. Uh, you must be tired. Uh, uh, let me take you to your room to freshen up. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, who is taking me there? I said, oh, never mind, Smeo. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Simi, don't worry. You just came now. Don't worry. You'll take care of me. The educational standard is dropping by the minutes. Mm. I guess that is one of the reasons you left early. Oh, well, I left for personal reasons, Bernard. Um, but I think the system could still be better. <laughs> be better? Mm. Uh, with all these uh, loggerheads between the academic union and the government? Well, I guess the government is still working with the premise that uh, the teacher's reward come from heaven. <laughs> and then, where will the rewards of the pastor come from? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's for them. Uh, for me, I I am making my money from the system. You're making money from the system? Yes. But I, I hope you have not joined them to further spoil the system. Uh, 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 do you know that uh, the government officials are aware that we are not happy? Mm. And that uh, uh, unhappy teachers or lecturers can only deliver poor content. And that's why they send their words to school abroad. But uh, as for how lucrative this system is, <laughs> I have my own formula. 
What formula? Uh, are you thinking of coming back to lecturing job if I give you the formula? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Benja, Benja. <laughs> Richard, sweetie, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh, it's nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. Okay. So you tell me. How do I look? <laughs> the pictures will provide better answers. So do you mean you can't tell me how I look except in pictures? Not exactly. But I tell you, I love to make my statements true photography. Please try and express your admiration for me with your mouth. Or are you saying you're not admiring me except through pictures? Any day, we're losing sunlight, and I need it for the exterior shots. Whatever. Let's go. Well, you answer my question when we get there. Yeah, sure. I'll do that through the camera. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. You know, Bernard, I still feel that there are dedicated teachers and lecturers around who do their jobs in spite of poor remuneration. I mean, when I was there, I, I did my best. Not minding the salary I was earning. <laughs> Your reward is in heaven, I guess. As for me, lecturing is the best job because I make good money. Not only from the salary, I also have lots of fun. <laughs> How do you mean? Um, Dad, I'm leaving now. Ah, okay. You make sure you don't stay out too long. Okay, then. All right. Bye-bye, sir. Okay, bye. I was just wondering, uh, since that young guy stepped into the house, is he your daughter's boyfriend? Boyfriend? Are you serious? You, you think I would allow her to bring her boyfriend into my house? Oh, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Your son-in-law? son in He's just a photographer who is helping her to build her career in modeling. Yeah, and uh, are you sure uh, other things are not being photographed along the career? How could you think such a thing? Hmm? Ah, well, uh, you can't tell. You see, that young guy is too handsome for my comfort as just ordinary photographer. Uh, they might just be pulling wool over your eyes, you know. <laughs> my friend, get your bright pride from that young man, man. <laughs> no. I know my daughter. Like the back of my palm. Ah. Yeah, yes, I'm telling you the only thing she has going with that photographer. It's a modern career. Yeah, hey, other things can also be built along the career. <laughs> you see, <laughs> trust me, hey, you can't trust or vouch for young boys and girls of these days. Well, I can vouch for mine. I know them. Ah, how, how, how can you be so confident? Uh, do you know where they are heading to right now? Of course, they have gone to the studio to go and do some photo shoot. <laughs> shoot. Yeah, hey, and uh, have you taken your time to follow them? to see what the studio looks like and uh, the type of uh, shots that have been taken there. Eh? <laughs> Benja, Benja. Ah, Benja. Ah. Uh, uh, Benjamin, see, uh, you have left the university system for some time now. <laughs> see, I can tell you, some of these children can be sent back home. But once they step into the school, they seem not to get enough of their freedom. They will... And they no, will no, just... but my daughter has left school. And the one that is still in school goes from home. That is the more reason she will make a misuse of her studio session. I mean, I mean, anywhere can be a studio, you know. And the one who leaves home for school can also have extra classes that you are not aware of. I know my children. They are not like that. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening, Daddy. How are you? Welcome. Hi. How was your classes? Fine. Boring as ever. All of the kind of lecturers we have these days just come to class and give notes to explanations. That should be enough. As a good student, once you have course outlines, you really don't need explanations. That's not fair, Uncle Ben. A good lecturer should be 
able to come to class and provide the students a course outline and still also be able to distinctively decide the course outline to the understanding of the students. You're right. That's all we do these days. Photocopy notes. Yeah. All we have these days are businessmen come lecturers. They are not interested in their businesses okay. and are coming to class. I think the two of you should go inside. Okay, inside. Uh, yes, I... I I, I really like your daughter and uh, her boyfriend. They are very smart, you know. Not her boyfriend. That is not so. He is a classmate and study partner. Yeah. Uh, do you really know what they could be studying together aside from books? Do you? See, my children are not like that. Because I give them freedom of association does not mean that they are prone to all this rubbish. Hey, Benjamin. You see, I am in no way suggesting that you should imprison their emotions or freedom of uh, association. You see, in fact, it is good that you allow them to mingle and bring their boyfriends home for you to see. I mean, see, they are not their boyfriends. And see, can we can we drop this matter, please? Okay, yes, we can. We can. I just know that uh, it goes beyond the uh, uh, photo shoot and studying together. Other things are being shot and uh, studied. You have to know that. You just have to know that. Almost fainted out there. From test? Who is talking about first? I'm not always comfortable anytime I see your dad seated at that entrance. <laughs> that is a clear conscience, fears an accusation. Why would you be scared of my dad? I'm not actually scared of your dad. I'm not just comfortable anytime I, you know, see him outside there. I'm always worried and kind of. Worried about what? You're my friend and he knows that, so why would you be worried? Or do you have something for his daughter that pricks your conscience whenever you see him? Which daughter? Me, of course. Do you have something that makes you worry whenever you see my dad? Yes. For you, no, no. Why would I? Then why would you worry? No, sir. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? How can you say nothing, but you seem confused? I'm fine. Mm. I'll be fine. I doubt. Um, we'll see. You don't have to worry. Hmm? Don't worry about it. You're just acting strangely. Anyways, I have to go back now, so we could go over the course. Alright. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, no problem. You are not into any relationship. Uncle Ben, will I lie about that? I'm not. As beautiful as you are, are men in Lagos blind? Well, it's not my priority for now. Uh, I am not saying it is your priority. Or I am not saying you should take it as your priority. What I'm saying is that uh, you need a man in your life to make you happy and whole. I'm whole and happy, Uncle Ben. Ah, so how do you take care of your needs? My dad does. Your dad does? How can your dad take care of your needs? Uh, he gives me everything I want. 
<laughs> I can see you don't understand. <laughs> okay, let's get to my room and, uh, and talk. Your room? Yeah, yes, you are, you are a big girl. Come on. Don't be scared. Let's go. Let's go. Go, on, come on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Please, is Sister Madana around? I sent her on an errand. She's the one I'm waiting for. Okay, ma. I... Um, it looks as if you people have a visitor. Yes, we have a visitor, Uncle Ben. Oh, that's his name? Yes. He's a lecturer. He came around to do something concerning dresses and PhD. That's nice. He gave me money to buy a gift for myself. He's a very nice uncle. But he has bald head. Bald head? There's nothing wrong with having bald head. Ma, is it true that when someone is very intelligent, that he or she will have bald head? <laughs> it is only when you gossip people with bald head, you end up with a bald head. So, don't talk about them. I didn't know. I didn't know that bald head is contagious when you gossip. <laughs> yes, it is. Simi, it is. <laughs> Any baby. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh, come on, uh, sit by me. No, I'm fine here. I can hear you from here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I, I take it that uh, you are shy. Uh, you see, I want to take you out this evening. What do you think? Take me out. To where? <laughs> Niola, you see, you are a very beautiful girl. So you don't need to be secluded from the world. And if you really want to build and grow in this your modeling career, uh, you need to be outgoing. Well, my dad has a different view about that. Ah, and your last see, see, I am going to bring you out of those doldrums. Let's go out tonight and have fun. Uh, where, where do you plan to take me to? Uh, uh, yeah, you, you should suggest. Uh, at least you know the gods more than I do. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to the cinema. Uh, after the cinema? We go to an atrium. Uh, after the eating? Then we come back home. Ah, uh, <laughs> that means there's no fun in the outing. Hmm? Eh? I wonder how an old school like me could be more goofy than you are. <laughs> See, Enola, I'm going to take very good care of you for the time I'm going to be here. You know, we'll go to all the places that you have mentioned. And then, chill out in an exquisite suite and have some fun before coming home. Have fun in an exquisite suite? Um, more like an hotel? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> um. This is 25,000 Naira. I will double it if you play a game. You know? Take it. Good evening, Dad. Enola, please, there's a match coming on in about two minutes. Whatever it is, Enola, I need to wait, eh? Uh, Dad, just a question, please. What is it? Nothing. Um, it's about Uncle Ben. Bernard? What about him? Nothing. I was arguing with Bookie, so I decided to come find out from you. Find out what? Are we um, related by blood, Uncle Ben? Bernard? Bernard is from Kogi State. We are Lagosians. We are only related by one nation. I thought you knew that. Thanks, Dad. Don't mind that Bookie. Ah! Can I work my match in peace now? Oh, yes, you can. Thank Dad. you. <laughs> Anyway, so quick, I thought it was going to take you an hour or even a day to think about it. No, not at all. I'm a big girl. I just needed a few minutes to think about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so, what have you decided? I'm game. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful! Beautiful! Uh, uh, please give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, where's the advance payment? Uh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so you promised to 
promised to balance me, right? Uh, 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 I will double it once we come back, eh? Uh, but just know that uh, this one continues until I leave, right? As long as you have good excuse for my dad to release me, I'm all your silly. <laughs> Wonderful! Beautiful! <laughs> Don't worry, I know how to handle your dad. Go get set and let me take my bath so that we hit the city. Yeah. Hey, for the opening ceremony of your. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh. Okay, children. Okay, okay. I know what to do. Let's pick up the TV and then we'll debate what we want to watch. So, starting from TV, what do you want to watch? Um, then let's watch um, Food Network. Bookie? Uh, Daddy, please let's watch CNN Al Jazeera. You need to be informed. Angel? I love watching the young film. What? Ah, yeah, okay, let's. <laughs> Angel? Why are you dressed up like uh, you're going to a party? I thought uh, Bernard just wanted you to take him around the corner to buy uh, snacks and fast food and be back shortly. And she's not looking bad, you know. <laughs> oh, Daddy, I'm actually happy because today is a wonderful and beautiful day for me. A surprise. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Um, Toby. Here's 5,000 Naira from me to you. Bukola is 4,000 for you. And see me, baby, last card is 3,000 for you. What that is that, Izzo? What's, what's happening? I'm surprised, though. Oh, that is not a long story at all. Our dear Uncle Ben here gave me 25,000 to go out to him and spend some time. Oh, not just some time. But some quality time with him in a hotel and have fun. What? Am I lying, Uncle Ben? Oh, he also promised to give me another 25,000 once we get back. Are you deaf to what my daughter is saying? Uh, uh, don't mind her. She's just being mischievous. Oh, I'm being mischievous? Hold on a minute. Um, Daddy, hmm? listen to our last conversation where the deal was sealed. One minute to go get your ragged luggage and get your filthy stuff out of my house. But let me get out. Daddy, I didn't know you could shout like this. So, Daddy will be angry. That's why I don't like people with bald head. Now we've lost the balance. Good afternoon. How was school today? Fine, thank you. Samuel, I hope you know these are my friends. I think I do, just that I don't know their names. Okay, let me introduce them for me. This is Precious from a broken home. Papa just married one down man. She does not like her. This is Rachel. Papa is a very rich politician. He's not always around, so he does not have a time. He's my sister Amanda. Nice to meet you girls. It's a pleasure, sister, sister Amanda. Amanda. So what do I offer you girls? Just a place to gossip. Sorry, just... My dad is in the living room and sister Nia does not sleep to him. So one does bury people sitting in the room. Okay, you guys can go inside. As long as your so-called Jesus is healthy. Thank, Thank you so much, much. Dad. Dad. you to introduce us to Sister Amanda that way. You sold us out. For oh, how much? Sister Amanda is not a stranger. I'll give her a little of your biography. Who sent you? Simi, who sent you? I don't know. Sorry. Let me introduce myself to balance the question. I'm Simi. Please sit down. Let's discuss what brought us here, Joe. Okay. So what's the case? Daddy. 
this Asso strike is taking too long. I'm so bored at home. I don't even know what to do anymore. I understand. Daddy, don't you think I should do something to get busy till the strike is over? Yes. Read very widely and research. <laughs> I've covered all my course outline for the semester since the strike began. I'm just tired and thinking I should do something aside reading and researching. No, you can do nothing aside reading and researching. See, even at my age, I still do research. You know, every good student will use this strike as an opportunity to do a lot of researching, to be creative, to be innovative. Because I don't forget that you have a first class degree I get to meet. Can't you remember? All work without blemish jacket, don't we? Mm -hmm. But it's all right. Do you mind providing me with a tactical research topic to carry out? I don't mind. Simi, the only thing you have to do now is just to tell your daddy to give you a lesson fees and you will join us. Simi, you need to start this evening lesson. So you're missing big time. I just share my side chicken. What's there that I'm missing? Look at you. Once you start, you will thank us. Now, after school, you cannot even step out of your house. But with this lesson, my dear, you're free to air from 4 p.m. to 8 at night. So much time to play around and avoid so much work at home. So what kind of play are we going to be playing? I thought it was our book learning. That this girl has started again. Oh, well, stop calling me that this girl. I told you I don't like it. But the kind of question you ask are for mommies and daddy's girls. I'm nobody's girl. I'm a big girl on my own. <laughs> a big girl with no swag. A big girl that after school you stay at home to watch TV with your dad. So what are you trying to say? Look, all I'm saying is for you to come and start the lesson with us. Then you have the opportunity to roll with other students. So after rolling, what will not happen? Yes, how have you been? Hi, thank you. So, Mommy, how did you go? Were you able to get the materials? I couldn't, but I promise I'll do that soon. Um, Mother, do we, do we have visitors? I was about to ask that myself. Oh, um, they're my friends. Your, Your friends? friends? Yes. See, me. you see the sexy dress? Yes, sir. And hope you can see mine too. Yes, I can see them. Are they gift to me? No. You will have yours as soon as you start the lesson with us. These are the uniforms for the evening lesson. Um, see, one of the beauties of evening lessons is that there are no uniforms. You wear what you like. My dad will allow me to wear these things. Um, we don't wear them from home. I mean, can't you see the inside of our there's an uncompleted reading where we change with this before the main class. And also, we apply makeup to make us look like a big girl. That's right. That's right. Let me test the dress for shoes. You go on. Go ahead. Uh, try it. Try, 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 try. Wow. Whoa, this is good. Not when you increase your height with these sweet looking high heel shoes. Oh, they're beautiful. But where do you get money to buy these things? Look, all you need to do is just to get your lesson fees from your dad. Then we will teach you how to get your money for your wealth. As she cats walks, dog walks, and elephant walks on the driveway. Sorry, I mean, wrong way. Simi and friends, what's happening here? Simi, are these your friends? Yes, ma. So what are your names? My name is Precious, ma. I'm Rachel, ma. You people don't know how to quit, Abby. Don't you know that these are Stamanda's parents? You don't know that Stamanda's mom is an accountant and her dad is a lawyer. Yes, so do I. 
So Simi, could you explain to me why you're dressed like that and you are walking like that with your friends cheering? What was that all about? Um, we're rehearsing a play for our teacher's health for party. Yes. yes. Oh, I see. What creativity. That's good. All right, keep it up. Thank you, sir. Uh, darling, yes. I need to go inside and rest. Okay, okay girls. So, you girls can act. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Ma you can act very well. Be very, very well. Your childhood. Hmm. Very nice. So, what is the title of this year Send Forth Drama? thinking of those children we saw earlier today. You mean uh, Simi and my friends? Yes. What are you thinking about them? I wish they were ours. What type of greedy thought is that? Don't you have your own child? Oh, I wish we had more than one child. Did you notice their youthful exuberance? Their childish pranks? It's lighting up this entire house. I thought you felt their presence the way I did. But I didn't feel any presence. And please don't ask me why I didn't. Because I was brooding over the case I lost in court. Oh, come on, Daniel. Try and forget it. Yeah? I'll try. But you also should try and appreciate the fact that God, in His infinite wisdom, has given us only one child. There are some who don't even have any, so try and be grateful. You don't understand. You see, sometimes I envy Mrs. Benjamin. And I'm seriously considering... Hey, don't even go there at all. If I listen, don't even talk about adoption, okay? Now, it's either you let me sit here and read this newspaper in peace, or I go back into the room and brood over the lost case. Disturb you. So you have you eating? Yes, mommy. Okay. Mommy, you're a very hardworking woman. No? Thank you. I would have loved to be like you, but you're a trader, and I don't want to become a trader. <sighs> Simi, are you mistaking me for one of your classmates? God forbid. How do I mistake my mother for my classmates? So why all this talk about wishes? Eh, Simi? <sighs> Come, why do you always end up doing the exact opposite of what you say you are not going to do? I thought you said you're not here to disturb me. So what are you doing now? Oh, well, mommy, you always say I, I took after you. And if you took after me, call Simi Lulu. I will if you took after me, call. Eh? <sighs> okay. Now, why don't you say why you are here? I, I, I want to start evening lesson. And the fee is 10,000 per month. So I just said I should come and tell you. Um, I know you want to ask if I've told my dad. Yes, of course, you are right. Well, I've not told him because he's won't pay my school fees. Uh -huh. So I felt it would be right if you pay my lesson fee. Um, Simi. Mm -hmm. uh, will you do me a favor? Should I get you water? No, 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 not that. Uh, you see, I have not eaten anything since I came back from the shop. Why? Because I've been trying to balance my account. So if you please go and come back and tell me everything over again, okay? So mommy, do you mean? I said go first, see me. Ah! Ah! <sighs> Too many children is a problem these days. See, Emola will come. Give me money. Bukola will come. Give me money. Everybody, money, 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 money. Ah! 
I wish I had one of you, sir. Simi, do you really need evening lessons? Yes, I do. Listen, you attend one of the best private schools in town and you're not doing bad academically, so... So you're suggesting I should do badly before I start evening lessons? I have not said that. Anyway, just pray that mom gives you the money because she really complained when I gave her the list for what we'll be needing in the kitchen this evening. My evening lesson is more important than the kitchen. You think so? Can you read without food? Simi! 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 Listen and listen really good. Stop blocking my way in this house. How am I blocking your way? Who be calling me a rich old? Anyway, what has she done again? Imagine this girl going to beg mommy money for lesson fee. So how is that blocking your way? Because mommy has refused to give me the money she promised me for my set of costumes. Say she wants to see how she will pay for this girl's lesson fee. What are you even learning safe? It's book now, not costume. Is it hey, let's not make a big deal out of this, please. Are you Toby? You're not left out. The long list of kitchen items you sent to mommy is bogus and questionable. Eh? Bro, stop saying you're a bad guy. So your kitchen list is even bigger than a costume list. I'm going to... Hey, 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 hey. Annie, just, please, just go upstairs. Since when have you stayed having a bag's breakfast in this house? Asimi, ideally, a bag is not good for breakfast. It will leave you heavy and you end up sleeping in class. It's not me that will do the sleeping. Okay, that's alright. Um, next time, Toby, let her have whatever she wants, okay? Okay, ma'am. Alright. Um, you said uh, we've run out of food stuff, bag? That's true, ma'am. Okay. Alright, let me give you some money here. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Use this for food items. Okay, mom. Um, and you're like, yes, mom. Do you still need those costumes? Ah, mommy, I've never needed anything like I need them. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> okay, let me give you this. Okay, let me add this one to it. Yeah. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Um, similarly, well, my darling, I discussed with your daddy about your lesson fee, and he will come downstairs and give it to you, okay? Oh, that one that do. <laughs> mommy. Mm -hmm. Is there nothing for me? Oh, come on, Bukola. Reserve all your monetary needs till acid strike is called off. Oh, yes. You're going to need it more then. I'm off to the shop. I'm already late. So, you're late. Eh? Eat what you have to eat and go to school. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, Daddy. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank you. Said you wanted to keep busy. Yes, Daddy. And he asked me to read and do some research. Okay, I have something to keep you busy until the strike is called off. What's that, Dad? Starting from today, you will um, engage Simi in mathematics once she comes back from school. And Toby, yes, you will teach her English language once her book is finished with her. Yes. And that way, the two of you can earn an allowance. <laughs> Dad. Can I also take that off my chair? I can also earn my allowance. Mm -hmm. Why are you planning to teach? I just told them they are joking now. I'm not joking. You, you told your mom you wanted money for evening lessons? There's no home lesson. What's the difference? We're going to teach her the same. So you just come home with the syllabus of the two subjects and it's done. That's correct. Daddy, are you serious or are you just pulling my leg? I'm very serious. Uh, Simi, one of the best ways to learn is to teach. So, whilst Toby and Bookie are teaching you, they'll both also be engaged academically. Okay.